Okay. Well, hello everyone. Imagine here today we'll be playing Shutdown. Shutdown is a game by uh I already forget Umami Umami Mazu Mazu uh, you'll, you'll just see on the top corner for the actual greater name. Uh, it's a game about where we play as a antivirus program trying to remove a virus from the computer. However, in order to actually remove them, we have to basically cooperate with them until we find the very solution. I already say about this, this game is multi-ending, but of course, I already forgot. <laughs> It's a multi-ending, that's all I saw. No worries, I still uh, know everything about it yet, so let's just start the game and see what it's really about. The desktop is peaceful today too. Hmm? Oh god. So you're here today too. Wake up. Ouch. Time to get up. I'm awake, I'm awake. Go yo. Go. said it hurts. That's pointy. How many times do you intend to kill me? Hmm. With this, it will have been around that number. Uh, I think it reads 10 million on the 3,984 3, times. So you've been keeping count. Jeez. You know, I don't mind if you wake me up. You wake me up a little more gently, okay? Aren't we buddies? I don't recall being buddies with you. So annoying. Can you at least stop cluttering the desktop with all your shortcuts? Ah ha ha! I'm just that kind of virus, so no. Yeah. I I forgot to like lessen the volume of the music. So I'm really sorry in advance if there will be a little bit. You should clean up after yourself, Agape. If that's the only problem, you don't have to kill me. Today will be the day I find your main body. If I exterminate you at the source. It should delete you once and once and for all. Nah. <laughs> if you think you can find it, go ahead and try. This piece has got a lot of memory on it, so who knows if Gaia can, can really find it. I'll definitely find it and kill you. Nah. <laughs> Starting from the recycle bin and jumping through all the navigation windows, go ahead and explore every last folder. Okay. Options. Hang on. It's too loud. Okay, I'm really sorry about that. This is Master Effect. Sorry for a little less. I'm just gonna save here.
Your owner's got some seriously bad things. Leaving the recycle bin looking like this. Having so many bottles that are just dumping the trash. I don't think I've seen someone like this before. You did say you came here after traveling through all sorts of places. I wouldn't know. To me, this is normal. Even in the other folders, does it all feel like this? I don't know about that, Koyokun. How will I teach you what I know? No thanks. Let's go already. I need to find your main body. Okay, okay. Seems interesting. So I'll watch you watch over from uh, so I'll watch over you from behind. So there are multiple games I'm interested in this. Can we talk to them? Nope. We'll just walk. We'll just walk walk the talk. I really like the the design the design of this of the pixel art. It's so pretty. Here's our first talk. It always looks pretty here in the recycle bin. This is a place for dumping unwanted junk. To call a clunky place like this pretty, huh? That's expected of Goyakun. When your corpses pile up in here, they always neatly disappear. Thinking of that helps me feel refreshed. When data completely disappears, that means there ain't even a speck left, for real, yeah? Try to treasure me a little more. Wouldn't be boring if I was gone. Come on, Goyakun. Why? Your face says it all. That's like they also turn around as well. <laughs> and that's just something that follows around. Like Hey, is all this tough water? It's my first time seeing it. Wow. To be seeing water that PNG for the first time. You're such a country bumpkin. Well, sorry about that. I've never connected to the internet before. It's pretty rare to find someone like you. So you've only seen what's in this busy. What's in this busy? So how do you feel about your first water.png? It's pretty interesting since everything works so different on the water. Yeah, there's a lot of bubbles sticking to those things and moving. With nothing else around, it's like a wall. So you can see it, see through it. We can also get like that if we lower our opacity. If we were squishier, that'd be closer, right? No, not quite. While we can try to become more similar to water, we can't actually become water. Water. I wonder how it feels like to be water. If I was water, how would I move? What color would I be? Maybe I would bubble a lot. <clears throat> if you become water, things would be way too boring. I wouldn't want that, Goyo. What does it trigger? 
Yeah, we are that okay. all empty portraits like someone's soul I mean this is really the recycle bin for man <laughs> for a guy who starts with starts with letter M what is this hang here pictures yeah that's right humans enjoy looking at them by placing them all next to each other this place is called a museum. Some pictures can be good, and some bad. You see, va the values can change over time. I see. So is it like PNGs and JPEGs? Or is it the memory capacity? Is that what decides if it's a good picture? If it's bigger, it must have more value. <clears throat> um, not quite. Koryoku, do you know about humans' individuality? I heard that term a number of times now. <laughs> In another game, of course. It's necessary to ever faint in this. It seems that no two humans can share the same sense of self. I see. I like the Kaepar character portrait so far. But a picture is still just a picture. How can such differences between them be made? Humans do some strange things. Like... <laughs> Like try to know how an Amazon <laughs> Never mind. Do some strange things. What's this? Oh, you can come back to this. Is there any reason? I'm just gonna save a little bit. So what are these? Ah, oh, it's folders. Check this. So funny thing, like you know, you could just progress. <laughs> seems to extend indefinitely. The surface is sparkling. It is called a desert. It's made out of this stuff called sand. It's like one pixel big. And billions of upon trillions of it fills up the space. The processing must be heavy. Why would anyone make something like this? It wasn't made, but more like it just existed. It's hard to imagine humans going out of their way to collect all, all this sand after all. How did it just exist? 
a few men still make it, I can't see how it would exist. Um, how do I put this? Look, the, re the recycle bin regularly empties itself, right? And look at you, always trying to kill me. These actions are determined by programming. Some kind of really huge version of that programming is running in the human world. Probably. I see. Whoever programmed this world must be very strange. I can't imagine there being much meaning to make making anything just one pixel. So as far as I know so far about the two. The virus acts more like human than the as much as itself. I feel like it's barely as well again. I, it has a team of isolation, isolated, I guess. A little bit. That's how I feel so far in the game. Did we miss a thing? So we need to find a chat here. It's in next area already, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's the next area. There might be chat here. There's no way this is just it. I mean, it's beautiful, but like, really? You couldn't tell if there's anything. That's a problem. This guy has multiple games and there's even a remake of a game I've never heard. <laughs> and both of them are interesting except the other one has like content warning so before we continue to the next one. That's all I will say. So far it looks really good and like the game itself so is still interesting to show you so far. <clears throat> What's that? There's a building on the other side of the water. I think it's a cottage. It's a place humans go while on vacation. Vacation. So when the time comes, humans will transfer into a folder like that. What meaning is there to doing such a thing? Who knows? Apparently it's fun. It listed, it's listed here that this was a travel spot for parents with kids. A parent and child found. This is getting progressively more confusing. Are they creating a new project? Um, I get the feeling that explaining human families to Goyokun would be a huge pain. Question mark. What's that? Ah. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's that? Something stuck there. That's what you call a weapon. It's a human tool for killing. Triple dots. So to me, it would be something like you. <laughs> That's exactly it. 
I'm here to destroy these computers inside. But that thing is something much scarier. Just one of those could destroy not just one human, but their house, city, and PC too. I see. <clears throat> How does it destroy them? Does it keep multiplying like you do? Or does it keep eating the world? Who knows? Even for someone as smart as me, all I know is that he can. Is that so? If you don't know, then it will be an eternal mis an, an eternal mystery. Yeah, all the visuals are pretty good. So I will save frequently. How many saves do we have? Oh, there are 19 saves. I'm not sure how many more. Hey. Your name is Agape, right? It means God's love or unconditional love. Ooh, so even Goya could, who's never been online, can know some things. They even made me, gave me this name. Since my amazing skill is to multiply endlessly, I guess you could say it's similar. It's similar to God's endless love. God's love. Love. I know what it means since it's in, it's in the dictionary. But I don't know how it feels. Agape, do you know? Nah, I don't. At the end of the day, I'm just like you. Even if it's my own name, I only know the text definition. I only read the meaning online. I've never felt it. I've never felt it. I wonder if the human who made me, made me name me this because they love me? I, I'd also like to know just exactly what it means to love, Goya. We might have missed something on the other one, but again, I just, it's, I very clearly can see all of it, of course. So this is probably the last one, or it's just going to be the What is this place? There's a lot of blinking lights, and it's dark. This is a server room. It's a place that stores the internet data. Is that so? So this is something that's related to us. Well, since Gaia Kun has never been online, I'd say it has nothing to do with you. He said that data is stored today here. It can be retrieved it could be retrieved at any time. Kind of like a big closet. Okay, that's, there must be a lot of forgotten data too. Like the pure white corpses of the data in the recycle bin. Well, yeah. Probably a lot. As more and more new data is created. The old is destined to disappear. Even with us just walking around like this, we're creating new data while the other logs disappear. Yeah? Same thing. So in a pretty place like the recycling recycled bin, my past log must be dying. Well, I guess that's fine. this 
is this? Yeah, there's still a lot. It's like still up to two gold. How many like is it? I know what this is. It's a bed. <laughs> I sorry. I know what this is. It's a bed. <laughs> I sometimes can confuse a little bit. I know the pink is always that. And she, sorry. Ooh, you're quite knowledgeable, aren't you, Goyaku? That's right. This rare, you must lie down and sleep. And repeat the cycle. <laughs> sleep. So you must have sleep mode too. I feel a little closer to them now. Why don't you lie down on that bed and give copying the, the humans a shot? I'll only play back a lullaby for you. Sleep, sleep, lie down, go to sleep, something like that. Why is a lullaby? Is it a sound effect that plays when you go into sleep mode? Ah, um, yeah, sure. Apparently there's, there are two kinds of humans, the ones that can sleep easily and the ones that can. For those who have trouble processing sleep, hearing a lullaby can have a positive effect. Well, well, it's not like they they work every time though. I see. To not be able to sleep efficiently without playing a sound effect sounds very troublesome. For sure, humans sure got a lot of troubles. What? Okay, wow, amazing. Looking up or down, it's all the same scenery. This is called an apartment complex. Humans leave behind these doors, and behind those doors. Why are they separate by, separated by doors? Is it something like folders? Are they trying to stay organized? Something like that. That's probably the case. When you got too when you've got too much data, it gets messy. It'd be nice if your owner had made a 3LDK folder, just like one of those places behind these doors. Then you could have tasted the human lifestyle. Oh I know. We could open paint and make our own room. Let's show our, our ideal room. <clears throat> sure, but even if we did, we only, we'd only be entering into a folder. Even if it looks different, a folder is a folder. Ah oh, man, making a room seems fun though. You have to actually say because like, I'm not sure how long this game is. Okay, let me just save again. Just making sure we do not miss anything here. Is it's hard? It's so hard to see if there's anything to be interacted at all. That's it. Yeah, there is absolutely nothing in here. <laughs> I tried to find and see if I miss anything. I'm trying to look, find a look. Let me 
resembling to it, but I think Okay, so let's continue here Hi, Regent I can see yellow light in the distance That's the sun when it rises, it's morning. When it falls, it's night. Rise, it will go up. And then, it falls. For what purpose? Who knows? It seems humans don't really know either. It might be kinda hard for goya -kun to believe. But that sun over there is actually super far away. Super. How far is that exactly? Is it further than the length of that steel tower? Not even close. It's further than the distance of us walking through a, a trillion of these files. Huh. Could it be that you're teaching me lies? For something to be that bright while so far away. It's just unbelievable. Nahaha! <laughs> I played with the VR at the museum before. So, probably. So that's why. It's true. Probably. Unless humans are the ones teaching us lies. I can see something. Uh, I can see something big in the distance. What is that? Let's call an airplane. It carries a lot of humans inside it and flies them through the air, including Edgeworth. <laughs> so it's something like a USB. <laughs> I guess that that allergy is pretty accurate. While on a USB, humans can basically carry us to a new location. And we can play on another PC. With that in mind, humans travel in a similar way using planes. This place is made for that purpose. And you also use a similar means to travel to various computers, making a mess of their insides. <laughs> exactly. Like coming to this PC was just my luck. Since as long as, so since as long as there is no internet, it will be my grave. I know I shouldn't, but I'd also like to try playing in another world. How are they different from this one? Are there virus busters that are different from me? Is there another copy of me out there? Or something like Mega Man from Mega Man Battle Network? <laughs> Five dots. Well, first of all, we can't go anywhere unless a human sticks a USB in, so until then... The art in this is so phenomenal, I find, I really attracted to it. Is that a mountain? I think. That's right. But that's not just any mountain, it's Mount Fuji, Fujisan. Fujisan. Sounds like a name. Humans add sun to names, don't they? Not that sun. Sun as in mountain. This mountain is apparently the biggest in Japan. That's why it's so special. 
I see. So what exactly is the connection between that and this place? Why is Fujisan drawn here? Just at a glance, you can tell it's a big mat. It does make you think. Humans like, like things that are special. So then, looking at the most special mountain makes them happier. I'm just guessing. I see. I don't really understand. But if it makes humans happy, then that's good. How far are we? I don't think we're even remotely close at the moment. And he's kinda good. Uh, this one is a screenshot. This one is definitely a screenshot here. But I will not use it for a thumbnail. Of course. There's a lot of sparkling things. Those are stars. You know, those sparklies that go whoosh in the recycle bin. These are their source. I see. Why are there lines connecting the lights? It's to make constellations. You must like to draw lines between the stars and find shapes of animals and things in them. For example, that's Cancer, a crab. Over there, over there, spices, a fish. And that's Libra, which is scales. Which one's which? Which is Libra? It doesn't look like scales to me. Well, honestly, I agree. You must have a lot of imagination. They look at that and think, that's a cow! Oh my god, that's a bear! It's pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> pretty impressive. The humans use their imagination on everything. Even if it's just some dots. Seems troublesome. Time to make another save? I think it's time to make another save. How much are more of this? By the way. What's this place? It's a large base. There are some chairs over there! Just kidding. There are some chairs over there. Let's call a hotel. It's a place where humans like to stay. 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 It's like a big version of the college we saw earlier. And this is called the hotel's lobby. You can wait and loaf around in here. I see. So humans wait for processing to complete as well. Amongst humans though, there's some people who who'll stay on standby for a long time. For no reason at all. Seems like they they have fun being on standby. Not something we could relate to though. Multi dots. I wonder if after exterminating you and clearing all all threats on the computer, I'll end up like that too. You mean after cruising through this folder so much to the point of turning all white? <laughs> I'd love to see that, Goyakun. Ouch! I'm just speaking for the I'm just speaking the truth. You got nothing to worry about. There's guys like me all over the internet, so Goyakun will always be busy. Besides, I don't intend to go down that easily. I've got a goose chase to keep leading you on. I still think being feasible would be better. Sorry, 
a little bit. Alright. This is... Looks like... What's this place? It says PC station here. So this place is a station. That's right! Every morning, humans will come to the station and get on trains to go to school or work. Humans always seem to go out of their way to ride on things. I think I'm starting to understand. Like us, humans can travel on their own. Seems like it. From walking to getting on cars, planes, or trains. They use many things to travel. But why are there so many different things to ride? Like this picture. Is there a different amount of lighting? Ah, something like that. Between the different vehicles, it seems the speed can vary. Some can arrive at your destination faster. When a folder is heavy, it takes longer to move, but when zip, it's faster. Something like that. Are humans always in rush? Do, be, do they prefer to be lighter? I wonder why they want to get to their destination so quickly. Making sure I did not miss anything. So far, I like also like being compared, and due to how wow, these have a strange shape. Some are red, and some are pink. There are various colors, and my freaking leg is stumbling. I can't scratch. It's itching a little bit. And there are various colors. This is called a rose garden. People come here to look at roses, leaves, etc. Kinda interesting, right? I find it fascinating. Every single one of those roses are slightly different from each other. Amazing. If you look up Rose Garden online, you can find an endless number of these. They might seem interesting at first. But after you're seeing a lot, they all start to look to look the same. In time, Goyo-kun will get used to them too. But still, even if I get used to them, I'll find it amazing. After all, if we wanted to create something original in this world, we'd have no choice but to rely on a human. If I copied myself, it had just to be a copy, no matter how I process it. I can only trace what a human's made. But the things in the human world are different. Even if they are copied, they are unique. It's amazing. Let me take a screenshot of this as well, it's pretty cool. How far are we? There might be a lot. It might be it's the still a third art thing. I can't see why is it two hours long. Or this one. Two to three hours. There are many there are many machines here. The only ones I recognize will be just the light bulbs. Is there something behind those doors? There are a lot of them. Do they lead to rooms? I wonder if humans can go inside. Those are called refrigerators. They keep things cold. Humans will stop them full with their food. 
Oh, Gaiakin. You don't know what to me what it means to eat, right? <laughs> How about I explain it to you? You say that even though you've never eaten before yourself. That wasn't something to hit me over. Jeez, okay, okay. I know you're just shy. You must see it in order to take in energy. For us, it's similar to how the PC needs electricity in order to function. If people don't do it, they lie. But it seems even if they eat, if they don't get a variety, they still die. They'll still die. That's why there's so many different kinds of cuisine. cuisine. So not only do they have to eat, they have to eat different kinds of things as well. Well, it doesn't look like this place has any vegetable pictures. It's hard to explain, so Koyakun would won't be able to understand for now. Wait, that's even though you said you'd explain. So you so in the end, you don't actually know. Ouch, ouch, ouch! So you really wanted to know that bad? Sorry. Ah You need to find a picture of vegetables. Can you look for the next me first? Finally, that's a permanent one. We'll just save a little bit. We're still here for a while. What is this? It's mysterious to see so many stones lined up together. These are called graves. They keep human corpses inside. But not just one. Apparently they can put a whole family here. So then, in every single one of these, that's surprising. When humans die, they turn into these tones. Um, not quite like that. But yeah, these are all marks of human death. In our terms, will it be similar to being to being in the recycle bin? Ugh, I a little bit. My, my legs is really bad. There are flowers placed on these graves. You might have discussed some of visiting the graves of the dead to leave flowers and mumble some words for them. Is that something we could do? Like that. So humans don't completely disappear. Their grave file is left behind forever. It would be nice if after my function is fulfilled and I'm un uninstalled, a file like that is left behind for the humans to remember me by. <laughs> then how about I come and leave the flower pictures in mass every day? Loading the folder by multiplying them endlessly. I would like I would not like that. I wouldn't like it either. There's still probably a lot. It's a very I think a lot of small world turn as a big game. What is this here? 
a door. Is there one of those rooms you spoke of here? This is... ah, yeah. Well, it's a different kind of door, but why don't you go in first and find out? <laughs> hey, Goyakun. If there really was a room inside it, would your dream have come true? Dream? Ah, hmm. Well, the word dream can have a variety of meanings. Um, okay. In this case, a dream is... They can like to imitate humans, right? If you enter the room folder, you'd be able to get that feeling to feel a little like hum like a human. And if you did, you'd be happy, right? That feeling would be your dream coming true. <clears throat> we'll take there, we'll take that. But it's written in the dictionary that dreams are empty for files that humans view while in sleep mode. <laughs> I think what I think watching a video is different from experiencing it physically. That's why it's that's why it's your dream coming true. I couldn't find your my main body either. Let's go. Main body here either. Let's go. It's moving. Uh, it's moving. Is this a GIF or a GIF? You decide. I'm just gonna go GIF GIF. Or GIF GIF. For that. Something is moving quickly. From the bottom to the top. This is called an elevator, and it's one where you can see outside, too. I heard some can see outside while some can't. Lucky. The humans want to see this. Whatever it is, they are passing through. Does it make them happy? Who knows? <sighs> Answering all of Goya's, Goya Kun's questions is so tricky. Everything gets a why. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot even I don't know. If I answered every last question, it 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 take years. It would take years before we get to my source. But he always answer. If you don't want to answer, you don't have to. Like that. Well, whatever. I got time to kill. We're, we're the only software on this PC after all. There aren't any other software installed at the moment. If there were, I wouldn't be here talking to you. I had just killed you for harming the PC. That's cause I was designed to do harm. There's no helping it. It's not something I can change. Hey, that's. If you just follow and teach me things, then it's fine. But get in the way, and I'll kill you. That's my job after all. Too bad. I'll kill time, get in your way, and revive again and again. That's my job after all. It seems like we've reached the next level. Is the G is the D drive next? Who knows? I'm just searching every one by one. Let's go. So wait. There's still none. What is this place? It looks very decorated. It seems like a traditional inn maybe. Like a Japanese style hotel or something. I see. So there are many kinds. But why? If these places make... Uh, if these places serve the same purpose, 
Why make them look different? Yep, that was right. Being in the, in the taste. Humans have all sorts of different preferences. Japanese, Western, Chinese style, all sorts. I wonder why these variations were made. It would be more efficient to stick to one version. Dividing it like this. It's strange. Looks like we're riding on a bus. This is... Could it be a could it be a train? It could it be inside a train? Or is this inside an airplane? Oh, you were close. This is inside a bus. There's even a stop button. Just as long as you don't drive it for eight hours, you'll be fine. Bus. Bus. You know cars, right? It's a big box that rolls around on a, on four spinning wheels. The extra big version of that's a bus. In the morning, you can see them pack full of humans on their way to catch the train. I see. By pack, do you mean like zip into a zip file? Do humans enjoy being compressed? Ah. I never really thought about it that way. I suppose there are probably people who find it more efficient to be stuffed tight together. It'd be so much easier. If humans could be sent in a compressed email, times like this, I'm glad I'm not human. That's so really cool. <laughs> I could make it end this short. Stepping on them, stepping on the stairs. Stepping. <laughs> uh, I think it's another save in this. There's still like a number of saves anyway, so. Now entering the stage. It's very, uh, it's very bright. There's a light shining on at me. That's a spotlight. It looks like we're on a stage. There are a lot of chairs. Is this also a place that moves? Though it's very big. Ah, uh, no, no. That's where the audience sits. There's a place where humans hold and play, hold plays and concerts. They love an event where many people will come to see them. Events. Like when seeing it, an error message. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, not that. Events like gatherings or parties. Hangovers. The people who stand at the stage will entertain the ones sitting in the seats, uh, in those seats. Then they get, then they get paid for it. That seems fun. So this many people would be sitting here. I wonder what I could do to entertain all the humans there. <laughs> Let's try acting. I'll be the hero of justice and you'll be the evil emperor. The one who protects my main body, princess, shall be me, knight. And the one who fends off the demon Lord Goya, who has to come to attack it, shall be me, knight. I don't get it. Should I hit you to make you quiet? <laughs> ah, I, I have this lane. It can curse you. Ah, it's become quiet. Nope, you can come down. That's a really cool thing, like, you know. So it's like a 
dressing. Clothing store. The clothes here are all western style. Western style, I think. They resemble what I'm wearing somewhat. You think so? Sure, these clothes got a got a lot of frills, but they're women, they're women's clothes. It's different. Frills, women. Ah, well, go on. Look at my sleeves. These poofy, roughly things are called frills. Whether these poofs are small or big can vary between outfits. It's just one part of clothing. I have some too. Though just a little. So these are called frills. I'm happy to learn the name of these things my creator put on me. I wonder why did they put th put this these? Who knows? It was just their tastes. <laughs> Probably. All right. So women are. Humans are basically divided between two sexes, male and female. So those those clothes are for female humans. Women. Why are they divide? Why are they divided into sexes? Is there a reason? Well, actually, there is a reason. For humans without two different sexes, they wouldn't be able to make children. Children. In order for humans to make child files, they need to. They need a sex. Why? I'll save the birds and the bees for another time. This talk will be long. Okay, this this area lags. <laughs> I don't know why. Is it that fun to just stand and stare? Goyokun. Yeah. Your mouth is wide open. Hey. Yeah. You aren't listening at all. Well, I guess seeing big things just leave people's jaws hanging. How was this created? Was it made by a giant human? I can't see how they could have reached that height otherwise. Human height is cap around cap at around 200 centimeters. Probably use a crane machine to do this. A crane? What kind of machine is it? The humans attached to their legs to become taller or does it make their arms longer <laughs> how heavy do you think that bridge is that's not something humans would be able to leave heavy oh I see so that will make it take longer then how did they do it <laughs> Sounds interesting, so let's just leave it at that. With longer arms and legs, maybe you could even build a tower. You're making fun of me. I said that because I didn't know how, how it's done. And flower fields. Dun, 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 dun. I'll just get a save here instead. Instead of like after a talk. <laughs> These flowers seem to go on forever. They look completely different from their 
from the previous flowers. These are sunflowers. They're flowers that bloom in the summer. It said they're always facing the sun. Summer. I think I've seen that word on the PC calendar before. Summer. I wonder if it's related to the to the to the date. I guess so. I heard that the human world has four different seasons. It's also a game I'm playing where the stratums are based on four different seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Spring's warm, summer's hot. Fall's cool, and winter's cold. This temperature's influence as flowers grow. So does that mean sunflowers love being hot? Since they bloom in the summer, right? If they didn't like it, they wouldn't go out of their way to bloom. Um, I don't think that's... I don't think a human sense of love or hate applies to plants. Sunflowers have adapted to bloom in the summer. They're optimized to bloom then due to their programming it isn't really loving anything. Sometimes you really say complicated things, Agave. If some sunflowers are programmed, then love would be true. If they pick what's optimal, then hate would be false. Maybe I can express love or hate towards humans the way some flowers do. Is it possible? For humans, love is false and hate is true, Goya. But there, there are times when love and hate are both true. Goya kun, what is it called when those humans try to express that? Love slash true. Again with the complicated words. You're saying it on purpose knowing I won't understand. Their motives are often very complex. Think one more and I'll take a break. I will just post before I continue. Just gonna drink a little bit after this. Water. It's a small water. Earth. <laughs> Just kidding. This is a pool. Humans can go swimming here. It's like a man made mini river. Why was there a need to make such a thing? Couldn't they just go find the river? I don't know either. Don't humans just like to make things? They must have just felt like it. I see. It can be helped if they wanted to. Besides, do humans enjoy swimming? Humans are always in a rush after all. Maybe they were desperate to swim in a place without any rivers. I don't know. Alright. So far, so pretty good. I really like what's the, how the storytelling goes, and I like the characters as well. So far, anyway, I'll be right back. I'll just drink a little, take a water break, and enjoy looking. You get a little bit of the pool. Actually, you will not because as soon as I just unpause it, yeah, I'm back. So anyway, be right back. Anyway, I'm back, and I'll continue a little bit. this these are not these are not flowers but they look similar for that matter the surface is smooth it's green so it's not a tree right or is it a green tree it's very tall 
This is bamboo. At a glance, it might as well be a tree. In the past, humans used to use these to build houses and stuff. Maybe that building over there is made from these. It seems to be made of various materials. If you cut this bamboo, you find a ball like girl inside. Or at least that's what happened in the tail of the bamboo cut the tail of bam bamboo cutter. A human was inside this bamboo. Does that mean does that mean humans can't be that small? Ah well um um oh if it's a baby, maybe one could fit. I told you before, humans have big imaginations. They can see things that aren't there, so there there weren't really any tiny humans, probably. Is that so? And if I say if I say there might be a copy of my file inside, thinking like that is using imagination. <laughs> that might be the case. If it's my shortcut though, it could be it could really be inside. If that's so, then I'll have to smash them all. Sorry for me. It's still like a lot. Do we miss something here? Hang on. No, we don't. Making sure that we don't miss anything. What happens if we go here? There's like one area that's... Oh no, it's not. It just works like that. So I know you know this. Just really just walk the talk. Is this the, the desktop, or is it just a picture of one? It looks like a picture. I was surprised. For a moment, I thought the own owner changed the wallpaper. Wallpaper. I thought they come back. And they came back. Yep. Looks like we're going to make a save here. Of it. Okay, those are folders. Huh. Actually, we can keep it open. Yeah. Now we're talking. Your owner sucks at organizing. Nothing started and the naming, the naming sucks too. What if Goya could organize it for them? Like this, you can tell where anything is. No. I can't just touch the human's things. There might be a reason why it's all like this. There's no way. It's clear they thought it was a pain and just placed their files in ran randomly. Don't touch anything. If you do, I'll kill you. Jeez, scary scary. Go you could. You're actually really loyal, huh? Even though the pieces just has been left on without the cursor, ha cursor having been touched in a long time. Play dots. <laughs> Until your under comes back, you'll just have to keep putting up with me. Shut up. I will properly do my job. I will find you, Agape.
Okay, so we're getting a little bit of lore here. So the last one was 2018. It looks like some some kind of like war happening because war related news. Something might have happened. Like the date here is 2025. Seven years the owner might have been been part in the war. Yeah, even then, Agape looks back at it. It's orange co- uh, it's orange colored. What's that connected to the ceiling? Who knows? What is that? I've also been wondering since earlier. If I could connect to the internet, I could have looked it up myself. And I wouldn't wouldn't have to ask you. Sure, the internet can be fun, but it's not as great of a place as you think. True, very true, absolutely. I agree, I got it. <laughs> it's fun at first, and you learn more and more things, but you start to input all sorts of random info, and it's it just stops being exciting. Even if I delete all the logs, it happens again. That excitement, or as human would say, how fun it is, I guess. It's just kind of gone. That's why I'm je jealous of Goyakun. I wish you could install that excitement into me. I don't really get it. So you got too used to the net, and it became became bored. Since I've never been online, that still sounds nice to me. I want to try my installing my feelings into you. <laughs> Out of it. If we did an exchange, would the excitement return to you? Or could it be that it can't ever return? I don't think that's how that's a first time I that's a really different expression there. That's But this one is lit. Welcome to Chromatic Game Boy. Something is strange. Aha! Uh -huh. That's because Goya good doesn't know it. Does it? Okay, I think it's a, that's because that Goya good doesn't know anything about games. This picture is of an old-fashioned one. Games. If it's solitaire, poker, or chess, then I know about them. Is this similar? <coughs> I guess so. <coughs> this is like one of their friends. There's actually a ton of different kinds. Some look like, look just like this, and others are so really realistic. It's like a human's really there. And then some are just words with pictures, like what, like what's happening right <laughs> What's the purpose in making these? The humans like games, of course. That's what it seems like. It's all about the pleasure. Human play these to have fun. Well, it's not like humans will die without fun. But having s some makes them feel good. How good actually feels though, I wouldn't know. I see. So they feel good. If I play the game with you, 
would be feel good too. <laughs> Even if we played, it always end ended a draw. If nobody wins, the game never ends. Sounds boring. So far, how far are we in this? It's still that long, I guess. <laughs> the flowers are dripping tiny water. Why? Uh. This is what happens after it rains. In the human world, there's time when water the size of one pixel, no, around five pixels, will fall from the sky. Is that so? Why does that happen? I was sure that water was something found under the ground. Does someone carry up a river and turn it upside down? Is this a prank? <laughs> There aren't any humans with that with the power to do something like that. Rain's a natural phenomenon. Rain, you see, is it something humans can control? It just starts and stops on its own. Without water, these plants here and humans too wouldn't be able to survive. That's why you got phrases like like bless rains and such. There's also times when the rain's bad and too much comes down. Sometimes enough to mess up a human's home. So the human world has a <laughs> yes, well. Uh I I still like the writing this one. Human world has RNG as well. It'd be nice if they could rewrite the table values. Yu-Gi-Oh is an RNG game. <laughs> It's a perfect screen and a snapshot of it. We're underwater. We're underwater. Da -da 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 -da. This wiggliness. I've seen this before. Could we be inside the water? You got it. Still for another water picture, though. this one's an odd choice. Most people would pick a nicer one. These white things, what are they? Three branches. Out of everything I've seen, that's the closest they resemble. But why are they white? These things are called coral. They turn white when they die. So this is a dead coral. It's just like the things in the recycle bin. It can be red, yellow, all sorts of colors. But when the temperature of the sea rises, they can't handle it and die. If I die, I'd turn all white too. Since I'm all black, I'm a little curious what it'd be what I'll be like when I die. But if you're dead, you're too dead to see yourself. Even if you want to think about it, isn't it kind of pointless? Maybe someone will be able to see it. Like when I was walking through the recycling, recycle bin. If they saw, how would they feel? Would they think about my corpse being all white? All they got. So here we see. 
You still have to be careful because like this is a long game and I don't want to like risk to like This one is nicer. Sadly, this might lag a little bit. Dun 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 dun. Something is falling down. What is this? These are sacred flowers. They're scattering their bellows. Scattering. Do flowers all spread their parts? What they that? Scattering petals is a part of a flowers that flowers life cycle. It's finished. When the petals die, the flowers cut them off and throw them away. Did I tell you before? That the plants adapt to four to the four seasons. I see. So that means these are dead. But they're still pretty. It's like they inside of recycle me. Man. MBH moments. <laughs> I can feel this way. Because the PC's owner filled with filled the recycle bin with pretty pictures. I'm still convinced your owner just had a had bad taste. It's a perfect scene to picture out. Yeah, this one. Sadly. Yeah. Let me snapshot this. Sadly, they gotta be thumbnails because I wanted at least to be surprised so that of course. <laughs> This looks like a hospital room. What is this place? A lot of beds are lined up. I think this is probably a hospital. When humans' bodies become weak, they'll come here to sleep. Isn't sleeping something they do every day? Did you not say that? That kind of sleeping, sleeping's a little different. Humans can also sleep to restore corrupted data. Is that so? So does that mean all the people are corrupted? That's right. For most people, sleeping will restore them back how they to, back to how they used to be. But for some, they are, they are unable to recover and die. I once saw a drama that called it the lifespan. To protect the life cycle. Lifespan. Humans will die, it's inevitable. But the time it takes to die can vary. So the moment you run out, it's called the lifespan. Live with all you've got until you can't do it anymore. <clears throat> then you'll reach the lifespan. I wonder if we'll die someday. If it's inevitable. Of course we will. It's inevitable. At any moment, we could just disappear. another one without it Ooh. 
what's that? Is it a bed? Is it a bed? Let's call it a crib. It's a bed for babies. Humans that were just born. Humans all grow. At the start, they'll be they'll be about one third of a crib. And by the end, they'll be around 1.5 to 2 times bigger. I, I mean approximately 1.5 to 2 times bigger. I think that was great. When humans just born, they can talk, why, or even mess around with a PC. All they can do is laugh, cry, and eat. The big humans will watch them over, and will watch over them as they grow. And eventually they've grown enough to use a PC. They can't talk. Then how exactly do babies learn to talk? Why aren't they born with the knowledge like we are? Aren't they just like you, knowing so little? Could Gaia couldn't be a na naive baby software too? I'm not really sure. But I find it likely that you're making fun of me. Big and small humans, with such a big change, are they really the same thing? Maybe they transfer their data into something else midway. Why do the small humans, why do baby occurs? Why do they become big? Ain't that obvious? If they didn't, humans will go extinct. They just keep on dying until they run out. Oh, this one is phenomenal. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> Look at the art on this as well. There are many colors. Song by Froms. There are many colors. Do you climb on top of it? This is called a merry-go-round. You get on the horse or the car and go around in circles. You must find it fun. Kids in particular. I think it had be try it'd be into it'd be interesting to try riding it. Does that make me a kid? <laughs> I guess it does. For me, I think I'd be bored if I tried. All it does is spin in circles and go up and down. I could easily do that while standing right here. Why go out why go out of way here wait for this? Spinning and spinning in circles, going up and down. I think it sounds interesting. It looks different from what I usually see. A little bit of shit. <laughs> Sitting down, touching it. A little bit of this. Sitting down, touching it. Spinning around and going up and down. How does it actually feel? Since, I don't know. I think it seems interesting. Hmm, then it's decided. Then it's decided. You're a kid, huh, Goya kun? What should I do? Am I going to grow two times bigger? I don't want to become a file that big. <laughs> Cry type. Yeah, so cute. Go ahead. Come on. This one is a screen. Also, this one is also a snapshot moment. So let me just center a bit. No. Oh, frick! I didn't mean to like. Oh boy. I didn't mean to like. <laughs> I 
There we go. Now let's continue. Watch our last save. File 12. I think we're getting close. Looks like this is the last upgrade, man. There are items lined up on the on this table. What is that red stuff? That's probably wine. Alcohol. In front of those are meals. These are what humans eat. <clears throat> so that's they put that inside their mouths. Doing that, humans will charge electricity. That's right. If humans don't do that, they die. Apparently, this picture depicts a final meal before death. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Originally, there were people. There are people in this picture, but it looks like your owner picked a version without them. A final meal before death. I wonder how humans feel before disappearing. Before I disappear, I want to eat. It's what? I guess. We humans love to eat. If so, does that mean cooking is fun for humans? It seems that humans are programmed to are programmed with three main desires that keep them alive. If they're not fulfilled, they'll self-destruct. They'll self-destruct. Eating is one of those three. That's why, even if they're about, if they're even if they're about to die, they'll still continue that cycle of eating. Then, in my dying moments, I will still be dying, trying to kill you, since that's how I'm programmed. Then, until I die, I'll keep leaving shortcuts and getting in your way, like a gust of wind. I'll keep blowing you all, all over the place. How annoying. Can you at least behave a little when you're dying and just bug these pictures or something? I was programmed this way, so no. this there are many flowers placed around this picture this is a funeral it's a ceremony humans perform when one dies funeral ceremony but why do they do, but why do they do it do you remember that the thing that thing we saw before the graves and the graves the stones placed over where humans are buried, they follow a procedure for doing it. It seems there's a lot of ways to go about it. In Japan, this guy in funny clothes called a monk will come and chant sutras. Doing that, you can make a memorial service. If you don't... If you don't... If you don't... Apparently the human souls won't be able to disappear. Human soul won't be able to disappear. Soul. Humans are alive because they have souls. Dying is when their soul leaves their body. <clears throat> Apparently every human has their own unique soul. That's where their individuality comes from. Well. It's got nothing to do with us, though. Man, 
Yeah, there's probably still a lot. Wait, what? No, you could. Hey, you listening? What you looking at? Hey. I'll tell you that. Ignoring me, huh? Fine. Whatever. I'll tell you that. Yeah, Kun. Hey. Go, you Kun. Are you bugged out? Hey. I'll tell you that. Boring, so boring. Hey, Gaia. What's on your mind? Hey. So noisy. I was just thinking about when I die. The moment I'm uninstalled and completely disappear. Humans have souls, right? Do we have them too? I hope so. You're seriously obsessed with death, huh? I mean, death is something I can experience. I can't touch water, I can't eat food, I can't create things, and I can't become a flower. The only thing I can have is death. It's the only human thing I can feel. Like that. Goya, you said that dying is when you disappear. But is it really like that? This we're just Rogas made to serve. Humans? Maybe we are we're already dead. I don't know. I haven't disappeared. You, sometimes, you say complicated things. You talk like a human would. If it's you, then I'm sure compared to me, you'd have a better chance of understanding a human's truth. I'll tell you that. It's back on itself, really. I guess it's another s screenshot file. a lot of washing machines or mine by back again. I don't know why. It didn't bug out there. What is this? That's the moon. It's a satellite orbiting the orbiting Earth. That you can see at night. You've seen it before, remember? But it's different from before. It's rounder and there's details on it. I could look at it forever. The moon likes the moon looks like it's coming closer. Even humans can approach the moon. This thing called space separates it from them. And living things can't survive in space. Somehow, people broke through anyways. Even even though it's surrounded 80,000 kilometers away, humans tried to reach where the moon was. 
I see. I get it. Since I could also since I also want to touch it. If we got closer, what would we see? Is it slippery? How bright is it? How bright is it? Wanting to go somewhere you can go. Wanting to experience things. So even humans feel that way. Alright. Did you know? A rabbit lives on the moon. Uh, a rabbit lives on the moon. It does this thing called pounding mochi where it pounds this white ball like stuff. And that's you bet I can tell that's a lie, Agape. You're the one who just said that living things can't survive in space. We don't know for sure. Apparently, this is an old legend. It might be really true, and it might not. Either way, apparently some humans believe it. Then, maybe I should keep it in a log. That rabbits live on the moon. Let me just take a snapshot of that. And I think that's... Make a save. This one. There are various things here. This is food, I think. Um, the cups are filled with something red. It's just the wine we saw before. Wait, why is there still untranslated here? <laughs> like that. I don't know what it said. It might have been like a leftover or it just a translated thing. Like that. Agape. What do you think it is? Like that. All right. Wine. It probably is, yeah. That bottle does look looks like a does look like a wine bottle. I see. What like that? What like that? Compared to wandering by myself, I think I like it better when when hearing you explain Agape. It feels like the pictures I've already seen have increasing resolution. Even though they haven't, now I know that this show is human food and drinks. Those are trees, and that is the sun. Until you taught me, it was a meaningless circle. And now I know that it's a big light that gives light to humans. Please teach me more, if that's okay with you. Play that. I guess if Gaia Kun treats me just a little nicer and shows some more con compassion, then I'll consider it. That I can't do. You can't, huh? Well, I said before that I'm just killing time. So if you feel like it, you can just keep on listening, Goya. Okay. Hey Gaia, look! It's a picture of vegetables! We found it! These? So, this is a picture of vegetables. I thought they were trees. These vegetables are being grown in a place called a greenhouse. <coughs> look! Look! They got tomatoes and cucumbers. <coughs> 
so they gather them all like this are each one of the those circles food that's right humans will harvest them by hand or with machines then they'll sell them to the other hum to other humans humans can either cook their vegetables or eat them raw after being processed the flavor and amount of nutrients can change I see hey is growing vegetables similar to growing humans? Since these vegetables are all start small, are they going to become big? Bingo! Since these are ready for harvest, this is as big as they'll get. After this, they'll finish their lifespan and wither. Since are, I guess in human terms, they'd be children. After withering, the seeds will spread and new vegetables will grow. It's a survival strategy. In order to leave seeds, they'll die, they'll die quickly. Do vegetables need different sexes to have children too? That's right. Veggies also got different sexes. I think most living things do actually. Do female vegetables also wear frills? <laughs> we are off the mark. The only creatures that make make and wear clothes are humans. So they don't. That's confusing. I love it's a nice button. But I only take screenshots of the ones that are pretty cool. How far are we? I think we're very close. Oh, we missed this. Almost. There's something floating here. And that's called steam. If you heat up water, it turns out like this. When you cool it, it turns back into water. Ain't that interesting? Why is there steam here? Is the stop in this cup the cause? This place is called a cafe, where you will find drinks like this. You must have a tendency to drink this kind of steamy hot drinks. This is just another example of pursuing pleasure. You know how humans gotta drink their drink water or else they die, yeah? So that's why they'll change the flavor for more variety. Some drinks make steam, and others are so cold that they condense. There's also apparently a nasty mud colored drink called coffee. Since they die without drinking, they'll intake it in any form, huh? So this is what humans, humans do in order to survive. You said that in order to live, humans have three important actions. Eating, sleeping, and what? Ah, it's still too soon for Goyakun who's ever ever seen a pop-up before. Next time. He dodged the subject last time too. What if I find your main body ne before this next time comes? Ah, ah, I can't hear, I can't hear. You just have to ask again before killing me. Very close by the way. Uh, I'll check a little bit. Did we miss something here?
Vivacious Sandwich. Yahoo! I wish you would embrace your font size so suddenly. It startled me. Also, um, what does Yahoo mean? It's a website. I don't know. It's just what people say on mountain peaks. When you face opposing mountains and you yell out Yahoo, the words get returned to you in layers. Is that so? Is the mountain replying to them? Or perhaps, having heard the yelling, a group of nearby humans return to call all at once. Well then, when you are Yahoo, you gotta return it. Come on, Gurkun, say it. <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm not used to making my font size big. It's easy. Just use attack to specify it. Come on. This time, let's face that mountain over there. Go on and say it. Yeah, Yahoo. Huh? I can hear you. Say it with a bigger font. Yeah, Yahoo. Nice, nice. Come on, let's raise that by one point more. Yahoo! <laughs> Wasn't that a great Yahoo? You really can do it if you try, Goiku. I feel a little funny inside. Like a mix of being happy at your words or feeling like you're making fun of me. And I feel like I don't like it when you tell me what to do. There's a lot here. Wow. What's lined up here? Goldfish scooping. What does it mean to scoop goldfish? This is called a festival. It's when humans all get together and throw a huge party. The, these are stalls and each one's got food or some kind of game to play. So goldfish scooping is a game where you scoop goldfish with a... It's a... some kind of round bag and you just scoop the fish for fun. You can keep them after as pets. So fish can live in human homes. I thought that fish can't live outside of the sea. I've thought about how it, how it would be nice to have the f have fish in the desktop. How would it feel? Would it be would it be fun to watch them swim? Pets are when humans keep creatures without eating them in order to just love them. So I'm sure watching them would be fun, right? Is that so? That's nice. Choco banana. I feel like I've heard these words before. But why are they why are the words put together? Are these not the words I know, but one with a new meaning? <laughs> Aren't these the same as the ones you know? It's just bananas covered in chocolate. Food can be fried, uh, food can be cut, fried, mold and processed into all sorts of different forms. When you heat up chocolate, it melts. It becomes waterish. When when cold, it hardens. So you dip the bananas in while it's hot. I see. So what is the purpose to doing this? Why do so much just to apply chocolate? Who knows? They say bananas taste better with chocolate. I heard some things. Taste worse though. How complicated. There really are so many different kind of human foods. If it was me, I'd be troubled just trying to choose one. It says, it says ice here. Uh, it says ice here. <laughs> are this package? 
This is shape ice. It's, a, it's just crushed ice with syrup on top. Apparently it's tasty. Ice is solidified water, right? So humans will ingest water. So humans will ingest water even in this form. Festivals are held in the summer after all. I heard in Japan it gets super hot. If humans get too hot, they die. That's why humans in this time are always looking for ways to cool down. Healing ice being one of them. I heard that the PC we're, we're on won't work as well if it gets too hot. I wonder if it's similar to that. If only the PC could eat ice. If it did, would the feeling of cold be transferred to us? Fried octopus is written here. I know this. The octopus is fried. Zzz, wrong. It's not just octopus. It's a fried dish composed of pudding octopus inside a batter made from flour and water. From flour and water. The octopus is still fried, so I don't think I was. So I don't think I was entirely incorrect. Besides that, Agape, you sure know a lot about human foods. I guess so. I had a lot of free time while drifting online, so I've seen a tons of sights. Among these, there was one where humans could submit recipes. If you looked up festival, a whole bunch of different dishes would come up. Would come up. It was kind of interesting learning about festivals and seeing how much humans love them. What's this? I've never seen something like this before. These are masks. Humans would wear them on their faces. I don't know why, but apparently it's fun for them. I see. So just by wearing this, humans would have fun. <laughs> I guess so. Humans like to change their avatar too, right? Kinda like a profile picture, but it's just temporary and you wear it on your face and it also gets hot and burns. <laughs> but in order to add a mask to ours, we need a dedicated image, right? So we can't wear them. <laughs> Don't feel down. Even without a mask. Goya Kun's already a real beauty, right? Please stop making fun of me using words I don't know. Candy apples. This time, I know what it is. These are apples covered in candy. Ding ding ding! Correct! Contestant Goya gets 100 million points. I don't really get it, but it seems I'm right. So candy, so candy is like chocolate. Does it melt when hot and harden when cold? That's right. Unlike chocolate, candy is sticky. So apparently it's easier to shape when hot. Since there's a stall that can shape the melted candy into anything you want, I wanna eat a dragon candy. In that case, I think I want a human shaped one. Wouldn't that just make, make it harder to eat? Cotton candy is written here. Is the candy process to look like cotton? That's right. If you put the hard candy inside, the machine and spin stick inside, it will become poofy like a cloud. I see. What do clouds feel like? 
putting clouds in your mouth what would it feel like if you put in a lot would they mind you can't eat real clouds because they they ain't solid it'll be like eating air I see even though they're so big white and round you can't eat them <laughs> the way you get upset is just like a kid, Gaigan. <laughs> ah, so this is the end of the picture. What a shame. I like the festival vibes. I did find it fun just to walk through it. Maybe a human will come to see it too sometime. Maybe. I also had fun. Okay, so... Very close. It looks like it's also getting carpet or is it something else? What are these? There's a lot of them lined up. These are gacha machines. It's a game where you put in money, spin the knob, and get a random cap capsule. For the most part, they're about 100 to 300 yen per spin. They've got little collector items inside them. Since there are so many of them, that must mean you must really love to spin this. That that or they like to collect the little items collector items are these things they don't need to survive that's right seems humans like RNG they're attracted to the surprise of not knowing what they'll get I heard if money gets involved that's called gambling it really doesn't seem necessary for it to living but apparently there's people you do live for it. Wouldn't that just become a loop? That's saying I don't need it, but I need it. That's right. I heard it differs based on their individual individuality. Individuality. But it seems there's humans that love this those things they don't need. For humans to live. Just fulfilling the minimum requirements of living isn't enough. They need a support called love. I see. I don't think I really understand. That is a perfect picture. I'm not gonna interact with it again because it will just start to hit the dialogue again. Ooh, pinwheels. What's this? It's spinning, I think. These are called pinwheels. When the wind blows, it makes them spin. They're made of paper. I see. Why does wind blow? It seems that it's blowing is a prerequisite. Does the wind always blow in the human world? I don't know. I didn't look into too much into that much. I think it's usually blowing though. Like just by running, a human can make some wind. If one runs it in a pinwheel, that's enough to make them spin. Does that mean? Since there's, there are so many pinwheels spinning in this gif, could there be a human running within a hidden part of, the pic of this picture? <laughs> Or maybe there's a lot of humans scattered somewhere blowing out air. I think it would be fun if a lot of humans were here to spin this. Oh. This is also spinning. But these aren't the same thing. 
What are these? <coughs> it is a sushi restaurant. Moreover, one with a revolving sushi bar. They put the sushi on it so that the customer can just grab their favorites. So the thing revolving there is a food called sushi. It's food, right? The bottom is mostly white, but the top is red. Why? And there's something rectangular on it. The bottom half is rice. On top is sliced fish. They got it by they got it flat by filleting it. Doing it like that makes it easier to remove the bones and process the parts that are hard to eat. I've seen a video of it before. Then will the goldfish be filleted too? That's a fish too, right? <laughs> I don't think those are for eating. They're just for looking at. Ah, I know. It's not like humans will eat all fish just cause they're fish. Some taste bad and some are poisonous even. Apparently goldfish, goldfish smell weird if you try to eat them. So humans tend, tend not to. Basically they only eat the tasty fish. Is that so? In that case, are there vegetable or meat that are poisonous or taste bad too? Yoyo kun, yours are sharp. That's right. So people just pick the edible and tasty ones and then cook those to eat. 100 points. Why are you suddenly giving points? I kind of like it though. I know this place good good. Can you step on that line up ahead? Why? Does this line mean something? Come on, just do it. Just step on it right there. You should come and slide too. I'm waiting for you. Uh, wait. Can you do that again? Okay, it's another point of time I guess to see. Big. What is this? It's warm in here. The clothes we passed through on this table reminds me of the picture of a stage. So one of those plays you mentioned take place here. <laughs> no, no, this is a katatsu. It gets cold in the winter, so you must start too long for some warmth. This table is designed to trap the heat from a heater inside by putting their feet where we where we're standing right now. The humans will warm up. I see. Would it be more efficient to put their whole body inside rather than just their feet? I guess. I think rather than a human that's I think rather than a human that's something a cat would do. MP3. The cat's curled up in a kodatsu. There's even a song about it. Cat. What kind of creature is that? If they prefer to be in here, does that mean they're cold? Let's let's see. Their ears are bigger than a human's. They got a long rod called a tail stuck in their ear. They got huge eyes and are covered in fur. They walk on all fours and are about as big as a human's lap. 
And they got claws and nails that they scratch and bite people with. They're smaller than I expected. I thought they're, they'd be bigger. Bigger. They'd be bigger. Are they really cute? <laughs> Giant cats do exist. Those eat people though. I don't think I could find that cute. Why do humans like like cats so much? Uh, inside of a train. Why does this picture keep shaking? Why is the scene outside moving? There are a lot of seats. Is this similar to a bus? But it feels somewhat different. Oh! You're on the right track. This is inside the train. An old fashioned one though. I see. So this is inside the train. The vehicle where people get stuffed inside. That's right. Now this kind doesn't get a uh, stuff. This one's for going on vacation or something. Well, it's more relaxed for sure. I thought that humans rela I thought that humans were always in a rush. Rather than relaxing and heading towards their destination slowly, wouldn't they prefer faster? Um, um I said before, right? As some humans like to always stay on standby. It's kind of not similar to that. Sometimes humans will go out their way to travel slower so they can enjoy the journey. So some humans like to go fast and some like to go slow. Is that right? Um, ah, hmm. How do I put this? The mood. Human preferences changes with their mood. Mood. Um, are you talking about the human's emotions? Yeah, that. It's kind of a way too beyond our understanding. <laughs> so like, I don't think either of us can cook up a good answer. I see. Even with all I've learned so far, I still can't understand. The human heart. What's it? Seems so complicated. This ways it resembles the church. Be in the it's similar. This is just a guess. But I think this is a wedding hall. It's where a man and a woman have a wedding ceremony. Ceremony? You mentioned it before. It's something humans do when one dies. It looks different. But can you do that ceremony here too? That's a bit different. There are many kinds of there are many kinds of ceremonies. This one for this one's for taking oaths. In this ceremony, a man and woman get married in order to start a family. Something like that. Usually, after starting one, a child gets made. The ceremony just leads up to that, I guess. So apparently, it doesn't always work. In front of the altar, they'll chant in sickness and in health, yada yada. After saying yes, the couple kisses and the contract's concluded. Humans have all sorts of different ceremonies. They decorate them with many flowers and have many chairs. Do humans really like ceremonies? <laughs> You might be right. Maybe they just said they just want to celebrate every big event with a bang. Yeah. 
This is... What is it? It's all probably the same. What's that big monitor for? Looks like a new station. A human would stand behind that desk and report recent news on the broadcast to other humans. Recent news. Then, if I were to tell human the human something, to tell the human something, should I report how many times I've killed you? <laughs> use flash. The copy has died again. Like that? Well, I guess that might be news on this PC, where nothing ever happens. Or maybe you can report the memory usage in real time. I think just by broadcasting it, it would use more memory. But if humans will see it, I want to try. I hope they like seeing the kill count. That's the number of times you failed to get the real me. So what did it just piss them off? Huh. I think we're very close. Maybe so far. What is this place? Many transparent things are circling around. Those are jellyfish. They're sea creatures. They're sea creatures that live underwater. Fish swim to move around in the water. These things, though, aren't so good that, so they just drift and get pushed by the currents. Is that so? I wonder how they are programmed. For what kind of job they were, were they created? Who knows? The world of humans isn't always logical. Some creatures just live to survive. Maybe jellyfish are like that too. Hey Gaia, what's the difference? What's the difference between us and jellyfish? Our problem is like the water currents pushing us in circles. We're just circling this species. Rather than messing with humans, all I do is bother you, multiply, and get killed. Get killed, rinse and repeat. Don't our actions seem meaningless? Sometimes, I think about letting you find my source. There's times when I just want this game of playing us to end. The place where the computer logs should be stored are empty. The number of blank white space keeps growing. There's nothing to record. Hey Goya, what's the point of all this? I'm fulfilling my job of killing you. That's one point. Is that okay? <laughs> Sorry. Right? Yeah, that's fine. This is fine. It's also a beautiful one to take snapshot with. The flowers are hanging. These are called wisteria flowers. Since it grows upward while its branches grow downward, they look like they're hanging. I see. There are many kinds of flowers, huh? Why do they call why do they grow downwards? Why they are why are they called wisterias? Is this related to Mount Fuji? Is there a reason why they're purple? Why they're purple? Why they're purple? You said I get used to it, but I'm still fascinated every time I see it. That's great, Goyakun. I wonder if there's a difference between the wisteria in this picture and the ones in the human world. 
Thinking about it makes me feel strangely restless inside. I feel like questions keep popping out of me, with no way to return. Why is it like this? Why? Ah, I get it, I get it. So noisy. I know all oh, too well just how curious Go Goyokun can be. Goyokun, what are you gonna do when you run out, of, run out of questions to ask? When you've asked your last class and nothing comes to mind anymore. You'll see a picture and won't think anything. It's futile to dream about what's unattainable. But I still have questions. I can't control it. I want to know more. I want you to teach me about humans. Sorry, I said too much. I forgot Goyakun's just, just a naive, naive baby software. I said it before, but I'm jealous. You think it can only be made by humans. We're not capable of it. I wish I still remembered how to think of new questions. These, they're pinned to the picture frames. These are butterflies, a prolific and tiny creature, tiny kind of creature called insects. They flap those fluttery parts to float in the air. Is it similar to how you flap your wings? So you really can fly into the sky like that. Looks like it. That said, my wings are cooler since they're the bird kind. Why are so many on display here? These cases aren't closed either. They're all open. Well, these are things called specimens. Dead bugs are all pinned into place. So yeah, everything on that ball's dead. Uh, <coughs> I see. Everything. It's like the inside of the recycle bin. Everything inside there is dead. Only things that will disappear. The humans like that. I don't know. Generally, I think it's the opposite. For me, when I look at this, it kinda gives me a bad feeling. If the humans got their hands on my countless corpses, maybe they'd line them up like this and turn it into some kind of exhibit. Just thinking about it gives me shivers. It disgusts me. I think they're pretty. When the light shines on the wings, they look metallic. It's pretty. It will be a bit windy, but like, just try to like. Yeah. I'm sorry about it. Uh, a bit. Oh god. Okay. Also, I'm not trying to get the microphone though. This is a bat, right? It looks similar to that place with the Fuji Mountain. You're really getting the hang of this, ain't you, Goyakun? Have you grown up from baby to toddler? Since there's a steam rising, it's hot. Well, humans enter that water. But you say they die. You said they die if it's too hot. Will they be okay? <laughs> Good one. Yoyakun, think about it. Why do humans enter steaming hot water if they can die from being too hot? Hmm. Um, let me think. You said that humans use heat to cook. Does that mean that humans enter to be cooked? 
<laughs> Why are you laughing so much? I'm sure you know I would get I would get it wrong anyways. It's just so funny. Ain't that fine? If that if the bats were cooking humans, they definitely be dying then. I don't understand jokes from the internet, Agave. Hmm. Then why do they? I don't know. The correct answer to that. The correct answer is that as long as it's not hot enough to kill, humans will find it relaxing. Even with that information you've given me so far, I don't think I would be I would have been able to guess that. Why would they do that? Even though it might kill them, the humans will still go inside. How mysterious. Meantime, I think we're getting close. How far are we? Not yet. Ooh! If it ain't the paint tool, we got no choice but to do though. Hey, stop that. You're not supposed to touch it. Too late. <laughs> I've already written my name on it. Oh. I can't do it. Uh, my throat is getting dried up. Ow. I told you not to draw anything. He did fine. I like I was gonna save it. Come on, Gregor. Give it a try. Try signing it. Signing it. Signing it. Sign. Humans like to write down their names. Signing something is when you write your name on a drawing or contract. It leaves proof of yourself. Proof of yourself. Play dots. <laughs> what is that? You just type with you just type that with the text tool. Shut up. I don't know how to draw. Besides, the thing you drew isn't that just a copy of something you saw online. All you did was trace it. Well, this is something different from the proof of yourself you have in mind. Remember to clean it up. If you don't, the number of your corpses will increase. Alright, alright. Multi dots. Ooh. It's a pretty good one. This is very a screenshot moment. I feel like I'm also kinda of playing like Yumini here. <laughs> Wait a little bit about this. Hey, that's a lot of six. What's this place? It reminds me a bit of the bowling alley we passed earlier. But unlike there, this place has many cases left around. And the road is bumpy. What purpose is this for? This place is called a factory. It has machines meant to make the same items in large quantities. A human would stand there, stand here, and look for defects. I see. Since the machines are also programmed to work for humans, are they our friends? Sounds about right. They're just like us. Programs designed by humans that just make the same thing over and over again forever. And that making is just repeating exact instructions. If humans don't put in the ingredients, 
They can even bake bread. They can really create anything. Only change it. I got me. Sometimes you say some strange things that bother me. I think I figured out. Figured it out. Why? It sounds like you're rejecting our assigned task. Even though we were born for that purpose. You say you don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm sick of it, Goya. Ooh! It's a museum. I've gone to one of these in VR before. I'm pretty sure that thing is back there. No, you can. Let's go. Ah, wait. He ran off. I need to catch up to make sure he doesn't do anything bad. I think it's also a time to save a bit. It's at file 19, but it's like me. Agape. Agape. Children are the fruit of human love. That's what they say. Create a child. Humans must merge. When male and female genetic, genetic data mix, a child is formed. This process is the result of making love. Hey, Goyo. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna know what love is. The love humans talk about. The love I was named after. I wanna feel it, Goyo. What do you mean? Agape. Let's try mixing our programs. And maybe a new child could be born. The two of us, all we can do is change th things into other things. We could never even fathom a new picture that was already that wasn't already on the net or this PC. Even just making a new program, connect to the net, or inserting a USB. We can't do any of that on our own. But we're the only ones here. 10,203,989 times. Aren't we repeating the same process? I just want something new. I want to create something, are you? That's impossible. If we made any changes to our programming, it. it it had just create errors and stop working. If we mix the two together, it had, it would be just it's just it had just be a string of characters that got me. Right. Got it. It looks like you weren't on the D drive. At this rate, I'll have to scar all through the minor files as well. Today will be the day I find you. Jeez, ain't this enough? It's not like there's e even any humans left to praise you if you find me. I can't stop. This is my job, after all. I have to look for you. That. If you find me, then all of me, including these avatars, will all disappear. Will you get lonely? Hey. Hmm. Okay then. 
All sub is for you to keep searching every last nook and cranny. Well, it's not like I think you'll find me anyways. Hmm. I don't know how to put it, it into words, but something feels wrong. Oh, this building looks like stores. What's odd about it? Oh, I know. So this is a shopping district. You probably feel like it's wrong because it's so deserted. Deserted? Are these stores, um, lonely? Yeah, yeah, well... Rather than the store themselves, it be human. It had be the humans who had feel that way about it. In the past, tons of humans would come to these shopping districts and to buy and sell things. Apparently, many went out of business after huge superstores got built. Customers stopped coming. I heard some stores found new means to attract humans and avoid closing up the I heard some stories oh, that's really like <laughs> this point I heard some stories found new means to attract humans and avoid closing up though I see why did humans stop coming just being bigger or smaller make a difference if they're both the same stores. Seems it doesn't matter to humans. Bigger stores have a lot more stuff, so it's more convenient. Since these stores could only specialize in selling one kind of thing, they couldn't compete with a store that sold them all. I see. If an upgraded version of me was created, would I feel lonely? I think so. My misty pranks probably couldn't hold a candle to what a version upgraded like the gap it could be. Something like me is probably already outdated on the internet. Press left. I think we're still good, yeah. Oh, I know this one. These flowers. What kind are they? It's very red. The petals are tin. This these are red spider lilies. It said they bloom around a time called the Equinox. This time of year is also when humans will pay respects to their respects to their ancestors. That being a human's parents, parents, parents kind of. I see. So does that mean it's a day where I would pay respects to my program's prototype? Hmm. I guess it's more like a day of for thinking, wow, that human. That design it is awesome. Humans will go to the, those graves we saw earlier. They leave flowers and food as offerings. While doing that, they'll pay respects to their parents' parents, their ancestors. Do the graves do the graves eat their eat the offerings? <laughs> Graves are made of stone. Of course they can't eat. Now why do they leave it? What purpose does it serve? Humans will die without eating. But give give food to these things that can eat. Why do something so pointless? Yeah, I, alas I've got no clue. Maybe humans just do it 
to find some peace. When it comes to that, humans will cry, scream and laugh, scream and laugh. Their emotions go haywire, so maybe they do it to put those feelings to rest. I see. If I were to pay respects, would it be like deliberately, deliberately putting a folder I use in the recycle bin? If I did that, would I find peace? <clears throat> I don't know. Alright. So I'm gonna cycle out of it. What is this place? There are many desks and chairs. Is this a train that has desk? Bzzz, wrong. This is a classroom. While well, going from small to big, this is this is a play where med medium-sized human go. What do they do here? Since they are desk, will they be de will they be typing keyboards or using tablets? Sure, maybe. There probably were more some people who did that. For the most part though, seems they keep textbooks. They use books and take notes while listening to an adult explaining the contents. That adult would be called the teacher. Schools would have a handful of them. I see. In that case, you'd be the teacher while I'd be the listener. Is that right? <laughs> I guess so. Great teacher Gabby's crash course on the human world. Or something. Humans don't record logs, so they document information by hand using a paper called notes. Seems they had to submit these to the teacher. Submitting handwritten logs to the teacher. Why does the teacher make the, them do that? Can they just look at their own logs? <laughs> no matter how big or small, some humans love to stay on standby. So some would stay on standby even when they should be recording logs. So that's why the teacher has to do a check to make sure they're working. Is that so? In that case, I've been properly working, so there are no issues. Those logs are probably full of how many times you've killed me, I don't want to see. There are many flat brown items lined up here. Why? It resembles the exteriors of the cottage. Houses are made from the from wood or bamboo. Does that mean this is wood? That's right. If you cut down a tree and split it in half, it in half, it is how the cross sections would look. I see. Why do they have patterns on their surface? Trees are like plants and flowers, in that they grow. They start small and then just keep getting bigger, until they're way bigger than a human. So as they grow, that growth gives you eggs, those streaks. That's why even if trees all have similar, if trees all have similar marks, no two are the same. Growing bigger le leaves streaks. Is it like that for humans too? <laughs> it's probably different from humans. For humans. When humans a lot When humans eat a lot of food, they build up a substance called fat. So I guess that could be a little similar to Strix? Maybe.
So if, have, so if humans have a lot of fat, they can become bigger. Um, it's not quite like that. Apparently it's bad for a human to have too much or too little. Seems complicated. It's bad to have too much or too little. But if they don't eat, humans will die. In that case, they should automate the process. With my calculations, I could maintain the human. A menu by Kryogun. Will it be pretty extreme? Okay, here's one. It's very hidden. You could barely see it. It's an easy missable one. You could really see it. Why is this being hanged here? There's a fence as well. Is this similar to a museum? Nah, this here's laundry. Being hung out to. Hung out to dry. Humans' clothes get, get dirtier the longer they wear them. So they wash them regularly with water and this liquid that removes dirt called detergent. These are washing machines that can do the laundry automatically too. But why do they hang up this la laundry? Are they using it to decorate? Humans seems, seem to like pretty things. Could it be that putting this up where they can see makes them happy? Nah, <laughs> they nah, it. It's just to get rid of the water. Hang it like this makes them makes it dry faster. Apparently, wearing wet clothes feels gross. It makes people people's body dip temperatures drop too. So that's why they'll hang out them all up like this. They're getting rid of the moisture by drying it. I see. Humans need water, but they don't like clothes that contain water. So they dry them in order to remove the water. Sounds complicated. If only there were clothes that didn't get dirty, and the humans would have less to trouble themselves with. How far are we in here? Number two. We're still very far, I think. What is this place? What are those? This place called a neonatal, a neonatal care unit. It's a place where people would put humans that were just born. What need is there to place them all here together? Do the small humans run away from the big humans, so they require surveillance. Small humans can barely move on their own, much less talk, so running is pretty impossible. It's just, they can die really easily, so it's better to gather them up where you can keep a closer eye on them. Before you said that you wanted to combine our code and create a child. But even if it was successful, would it not die right away? There are no programs here beside us. Besides us, although it would look it would be different if the PC owner returned to look after it. Yeah, if the owner came back came back, but they won't, that's my guess. Someday they will return. Unless you know a reason why would they why they would not. Multi dots. Multi dots. Multi dots. I don't know. It's just a guess. Aren't they just cheating on this PC with a different one? A better, fancier color PC. 
Maybe that's with that ones made them forget all about this one. Even forgot to turn it off. Did it even put it into sleep mode? That's probably what happened. I see. I hope they remember someday. Multi dots. Looks like he knows already about it though. Or they know already about it. Ooh! This picks of a high-end restaurant. This shot must be from a from when your owner visited. Restaurant. There are plates and meals. Is this a place for eating? Yeah. Out of all eateries, the most expensive ones are restaurants. I also think places like this usually serve western style food. I see. So you might as well go out of their way to come here in search of expensive food. Seems like pricey food tastes different. Oh, also, humans just like to make some memories in these kinds of places. They'll come here and please be like, uh, they come here and be like, please marry me before handing over a red ring. Doing that will leave the logs involved and make them harder to delete. I see. The humans keep all, all their logs. It doesn't sound like a log with any errors. Why keep it? Or will it cause an error later? Uh, that doesn't sound like a log with any errors. Why keep it? Or will it cause an error later? For humans, they rather delete their error logs. Rather than the ones without any. They like to keep the fun logs. They like to go places that make their logs more fun. But there, there are also human, also humans who keep all their error logs. But the fun ones slowly disappear. You said that this might be the PC's owner's picture. Did they want to keep their fun logs, or did these logs cause us? Did this, did these logs cause errors? I wish I knew. I think it's time to save again. We're pretty much nearing. Be very careful. <laughs> I'm afraid we. I keep pressing the wrong button sometimes. I'm afraid I might accidentally press something and, like, you know, <laughs> do something. What is this place? There's a lot of cloth on the ground. Set soil in the center. Will the humans plant flower flowers and trees there to watch them grow? Plants don't grow that fast. If I remember right, this is the stage for a sport called sumo wrestling. Two huge humans will fight for fight each other on it. Other humans have fun by watching. Fight? Why? Why must they fight on that soil? About that, some humans really just really like to fight. To punish those who hurt them, they wanna do what Goyakun does. And humans can kill other humans. It's forbidden by this thing called the law. So they usually they usually get in trouble for fighting. Only exception is for sports like this. Maybe they can satisfy those desires by watching other humans fight. With that, I see. So there are humans who would be satisfied who would be satisfied to see me kill your shortcuts. <laughs> Probably. I I sure wouldn't like it though, since it just hurts for me. You're the one who keeps making a mess of the PC and doing weird things. If you stop causing problems, 
I wouldn't have to kill you. Amazing. It's cold and various things are placed here. What's this for? Let's see, this is a Buddha statue. They're usually placed in these kinds of places called temples. Buddhism? Uh, explaining religion to Goekun seems tricky. Um, well, I guess you could say this is an important place for having memorial ceremonies. And this guy is Buddhism's top dog. I see. But some humans can be golden like this. Though this, it, though this seems much more like a Segaki ritual. It's basically a ritual to thank your ancestors that's done near your near the equinox. If you don't do it, the ancestors the ancestors who get sent to a place called hell will get turned into us to skinny little predators and suffer it forever. Mark. Hell. Hell us. Uh, so hell is when you even do bad things while they're alive. It's a place they uh, they'll end up in after dying. They get punished for all the bad they have done. The hell predators end up in. It said they're cursed to be hungry forever. I see. But humans die without putting things in their mouth, right? So they would die right away. How about that? If you die in hell, you just return. Repeating the same suffering forever. Well, this is all from human imagination. No one knows if it's real or not, but for the people who believe, they hold these rituals to free their loved ones from suffering. So humans like to imagine even terrible things. If only suffering awaits after death, just its existence would make people anxious, huh? What is this place? It looks like a lot of the same items are placed here. It is a supermarket. It's one of those huge stores I told you about before. Where humans can buy various, of, various stuff. This is the meat selection. Ah, hold up. I can already see Goyakun's next question. This meat's from birds, pigs, cows, and the like. I see. Meat is attached to living creatures, right? So humans eat meat. That's right. Apparently, meat can provide lots of nutrients. In order to eat them, humans gather and keep a humans gather and keep a ton of animals called livestock. They kill them, cut it off for easy eating, seal the meat to keep it clean, then it hits the cell the shelves to get sold at the store. Supermarkets also got fish, vegetables, and spices. Anything humans need for making food. Of course, besides that, there are drinks and snacks too. Putting these things together, the humans can't cook, right? They cook and then eat. Pretty much. Friends with children will also cook for them and give them a place to eat. I see. So not only must children be looked after to make sure they don't die, but they must be assisted in the, in the food eating process as well. Being a large human seems to come with a lot of troubles. Oh, 
boss misses. What's all of this? There are little balls rolling down inside these colorful, colorful boxes. Are these decorations? The seeing the balls make the seeing the balls fall make humans happy. Or do the balls falling have some kind of meaning? It's very cool. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be pachinko time. These are called pachinko machines. A little bit. I'm gonna mend a little bit. Probably this would help me restore a voice a bit. These are called pachinko machines. It's one of those gambling things I told you before. These balls, well, it's more about the money. You put in money to start the game. If the ball if the balls fall just right, a, a really cool start. If the numbers or picture match, it will, it will flash big lights that make people happy. If you beat dots and hit the jackpot, you'll win way more money than what you put in. It's because of this that some humans get hooked. I see. So having a lot of money makes humans happy. Seems like it. In order to get money, humans usually have to do labor. For example, to get 1,000 yen, they'd have to do. They'd have to work for about an hour. Goya, even this species owner worked in order to buy your virus buster program. I'd say they spent about 10,000 yen for it, probably. So for a Goya kun, that's worth. That's worth 10k. They have to work 10 hours in order. They have to work 10 hours to get their hands on you. But if they gamble, they can multiply that 10k by 10. Thinking like that, working an hour for 1,000 doesn't seem so efficient, does it? Statistically speaking, they will not be winning each time. It seems more likely that, that the end result would be negative. Because it seems more efficient to use the other method of making money in order to gain it. But working tirelessly sounds like a pain. If I was a human, I'd go for the gambling. There are tables and uh, there are tables and chairs. I also see a menu at tableware. Is this a restaurant? You got it. I like the last place though. This is a cheaper one. These are usually called family restaurants. All sorts of humans will come here to eat. Its special feature would be that drink bar. Drinks that usually cost 200 or 300 a can. You can have all of you can drink here. Cool, huh? Now we're still in a negative profit. I thought humans were happier when they had more money. Yeah, the trick is they're learning cost they're learning cost customers with cheap drinks. But the price of food the price of food higher. That way they'll end up with a profit. I see. Oh my god. I don't think I'd be able to speak anymore, so I'm sorry if I'm going to change my voice here a little bit, so it's not going to be... Yeah, my throat is not really doing good right now. I see. So you might find this juice very desirable. Yeah. Even though it's just processed water, seems the process can change both flavor and texture. I'm really sorry if I can keep up the voice. Just... My throat is not really long-lasting texture that's why they find it way tastier than water I wish I could try thinking it. and I could also understand what tasty is and I could feel happy when looking at the drinks like human but if only we had a water drinking program and we could drink coke from a virtual vending machine 
Even if we wish for it, we'll never have it. Sure would be nice though. Let me just reskin a little bit. Don't worry. That my throat sucks now. What is this? It has many lines, and what are those round things attached to it? This is a Ferris wheel. You must well get in those balls and ride it. You find it fun since it takes them way higher than they can usually go. I see. Does it carry them at a high speed? You must like going fast, so they would find it fun. Nah, apparently they're super slow. They relax by slowly taking in the sights. A human's height, their Z value is fixed. By riding on one of these, and take them to a value they could never reach on their own. Like get down from above, humans can see familiar sights from a new vantage point. It gives them a sense of novelty. I see. You don't have this sense of Z value, so it's hard to understand what the what that feeling is. Guess so. In the VR, I, into in the VR I got into before, I think I could sort sort of understand what the humans were feeling. It was kind of scary. Scary. Oh, how exactly do I explain this one? Um, so it's like a, like an instinct, instinctive defensive response humans feel at times when they feel of a threat of dying. Humans will die if they fall from a high place, so they get the chills when going somewhere high. That's why some humans even refuse to go on ferris wheels. Apparently for some people, they enjoy getting the, those chills. It's pretty weird, huh? To find pleasure in that feeling of being near death. Having fun by experiencing unpleasing things. That does seem strange. I don't think I am capable of experiencing these chills he spoke of. I'm a little disappointed, especially, especially since it's something humans find fun. Actually, we're going to save here a little bit. What is this? Something is heading up the mountain. This is a ski resort. In the winter, humans will come here and use boards to slide down with the slide down the snow. Apparently, it's fun. The first thing that that carries them up is a machine called a lift. Apparently, humans will line up and wait their turn to get on. I see sliding. I wonder what kind of feeling that is. Why do they use words? Hmm, let's see. Ah, remember when you speed up at the bowling alley? Is that feeling? If you put boards on your feet and go a slow, you'll speed up like that. Apparently there's both good and bad use. And good good and bad ways to slide. Our way, humans like going fast. Is that so? Why do they like, why do they like going? Why do they like to go fast? To get to their destination faster? Kinda like Sonic. Good question. You must also like to ride roller coasters and other things that go down slopes really fast. I already got no clue either. I see. If you don't know, there's no way I can know. Okay, that's. Hey, Goyakun. How much do you want to know? Shamark. What do you mean? How much do you really want to know about humans? I've taught you a lot so far, yeah? Ecology, lifestyle, buildings, nature. What's next? I'm asking you 
I'm, I'm asking if you want me to teach you the full range of your human emotion. I like to understand human emotions, but I don't know. I just find it interesting. I have no reason to. I don't really know. I think I'm lacking the, the specifications to explain. If I better understood human emotions, maybe I could explain what's this inside me. What's this is inside me. Ah. I think I'm gonna go for another water break a little bit. So at least, yeah. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna save one more. And I'll be right back. Hang on a little bit. And that might be the last water check. My voice is kinda back. Whew. Anyway. A little bit. Now hopefully this will be this is the last water break that I have. And so we're kind of very close, I think, at this point. <laughs> Let's see how far we are. Probably not. It's red. This is a sunset. The sun falls down and night begins. That's right! It's the beach of everlasting summer. Seems humans like sunsets. Seems they find sights like this romantic. I see. Though I don't r know really understand what a beach of everlasting summer is. Is romantic, romantic a good status for humans? Yeah. Remember back at the restaurant? There are moments humans strongly want a record to memory. They feel that way in front of sites like this too. So couples would get token in by the scene and start saying sweet words to each other. Sweet. Do words give the same feelings as eating? Eat sweet words. A kind of food. How about that? About that, humans can apparently feel tastes from words. There's bitter words and sour words. Of course, there's tasty and nasty ones too. So I don't get how they're tasting fl flavors with their ears. Maybe it's their imagination. What would be an example of sweet words? Uh, you're more beautiful than this sunset. Something like that? Why compare nature to humans? Since there are type of, types of things, would it make more sense to compare humans with other humans? Hmm, I don't think we're gonna understand what understand the kind of sweet humans are using here. I see. That's a shame. Another screenshot. What is this place? There are many fish tanks. It feels different from the aquarium picture. Is this a store that sells fish? Ding ding! Correct! Americans become so clever. This is probably a tropical fish store. Remember how I said some humans skip goldfish? Some people like to keep all sorts of different kinds of fish. Sadly my voice is still dead a little bit. Amongst those, some fish are caught in the wild and then through selective breeding are made easier for humans to keep. Selective breeding? What's that? Well, okay, remember what I said about flowers? How when they die, they'll spread their petals and seeds. That preparation for that. The reason why they do all that is to prepare for the next generation. The new seeds genes are designed 
decided when the male and female flowers change for us. You could say genes are their source code. All living creatures are born referring to them. Basically, the genes of the next flowers are influenced by their predecessors' genes. Sometimes, there can be mutations that lead to variations in the genes as well. Humans will sort out the seeds and cross specific genes to make the new flowers, more clover or stronger or whatever. This process is selective breeding. I see. So does that mean the fish here were created by humans? Well, maybe not all of them, but basically. Oh, it's also created by a human. There haven't been any mistakes, but I have ended up a fish. <laughs> of course not. Is he recreated to be a virus buster? You must take what already exists and changes it as they please. Is this a good thing? I think the original is already pretty enough. Is that not enough to satisfy humans? If it's not good enough, does it not sell? You have a point. You see, Humans are always longing for something new. That's why when they get bored, and that's why we, that's why they get bored when some things just stay the same. I see. Even though they all look equally pretty, so humans just like change. I might understand a little. Looking at the same pictures are fun, but seeing a new picture makes me feel a little bit happier. Is this that feeling? Always seeing the same picture but still finding it pretty. Maybe it'd be better to be left unaware that new ones could exist. know what this is. This is a bed. Humans sleep here. That's right. This is a room inside a sink. This is a room inside the hotel. Seeing the the, the police going from restaurant to hotel is kinda should mark what? What? Here you I knew that I was going to have to give you this top at some point. Actually beds have a connection to the making of small humans. So you're saying when humans sleep, sleep, they can make a small picture. No, remember what I said before, now humans have three main desires. The third desire is necessary to preparing the next generation of humans. So you see a male and a female, human will, hmm, can u get. <laughs> when, when the pointed part of a human meets with the concave part somehow, a child is born. They're saying that humans are always thinking about wanting to combine. Uh, yeah, probably. Question, multi question marks. Or triple question marks. Seems like it was a little too soon to teach Goyakun about this after all. This question mark. <laughs> this is water. The water seems to reach very far. Is the water moving? It looks like the white parts are lined up. Unsteadily. This is called the ocean. The percent of the human world is made up of it. Unlike regular water, it contains salt, 
we can get salty. He said so, so in the human world, I'm taking the third step. The seventh step is the ocean. <laughs> That's right, but wrong. Excluding the ocean, you must live on 30% of the land. You must will go out to sea on floating vehicles called boats, where they will catch fish or go to other lands across the ocean. If 70% of the world is ocean, does that mean that the travel between lands will be a long distance? That's right. Well, it's faster if taking, well, it's faster if taking an airplane by a boat. It'd be about a month or more. I think I'm starting to understand why humans are such are in such a hurry. Some places are so far away that it takes too long to get there. Humans live in a world governed by different laws than ours. So. If I pleasure in eating tasty food, they get chills and they look at beautiful things. They're saddened by death, they suffer in hell, and they make small humans and help them grow. You said that w that a human's true means the opposite means the opposite of what it is. A learning like this, I think someday someday we'll be able to see what defines the human's illogical love, and then maybe we could convey that love to the humans. Go oh, yeah. In the same way how I don't understand the laws of the human world. Could it be that the things we see and feel can be can be understood by humans? If we learn more could you find a way to express this world? If we learn more, would we understand why the why the humans don't come back? Yo yo. Just stop. Why? I don't know either. But why? But why? Why is it even though to me I feel it's worse if you knew? Why do I? Don't ask me, because I don't understand what you're saying. I wonder if I was thinking something wrong. Was it something a virus bu buster shouldn't think? I'll stop the process right now. What I that? Wait, it said one song in dynamics, this is just kidding. What's this? There are many lights in the sky. Since it's night, are these stars? But why do they but why did they become like this? Are they moving at high speeds? This is just one way to take pictures. If you take the Oh, so really slowly, the stars become become lines like this. He said that the sun sets. Are these star as the, are these stars setting as well? You got it. Everything in the sky shapes and moves over time. That's why you can get pictures like this. Uh, so it's very accurate to say that it's not the sky moving, but the ground. The whole planet is moving actually. That's why the sun isn't actually sinking, but leaving our view. I see. So the sun just appears to be sinking from a human perspective. Is that right? That's right. So when it comes to, to shooting stars, those really are stars that are falling. The stars get sucked into the planet's gravitational flow when they burn up. In that moment, the star shoots across the sky before disappearing. Thus, shooting star. 
It said that if you make a wish three times before the, su the star disappears, your wish will come. Your wish will come true. Usually they go by so fast. It'd be hard to make a wish in time, though. I see. By saying the stars burn out, do you mean that they die? I guess so, yeah. But because it looks pretty, it's a sight humans wanna see, anyways. You die while having many. You die while having many humans making wishes towards you. That wouldn't be so bad, right? You being behind a stone like Graves is nice. But being remembered as a wish also seems nice. This looks like downtown. Or it's just really a bar or something. <clears throat> a bar? You mean a place where you must drink coffee or juice? <laughs> well, you're not wrong. Here people drink something called alcohol. It's something that only big humans can drink, and it can make them turn drunk. Being drunk seems like a real interesting feeling. Apparently you can reduce suffering. That's why human loves to drink it. At places like this, you'll be surrounded with eateries that can go with alcohol. I see. Being drunk? What kind of feeling is it? If suffering is being reduced, does that mean becoming happy? Um, you explained before how humans act to satisfy their main three desires, right? So does that mean b they become full or they become sleepy or... Ah, no no, you got it wrong. Uh, being drunk is... Their heads get gets all fluffy, their words become un unintelligible, and their sense of reality starts to get all loose. The losing your sense of reality part seems nice though. It's it, it's it, it, it's 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 escapism. It, escapism. They can run away from their suffering. I see. Even if they put the process on hold, don't they still have to get it? Don't they still have to get to it eventually? I don't see the point in running. If they use that time to finish their process, could they diminish the errors and become happy? It ain't that easy for humans. Even if they want to resolve their errors. There are times when they just can't get rid of it. Can get rid of it. If they can go away, then at least then at the least it'd be better to put them out of sight. Doing that, you can forget about the errors and go back to who you were before you had any something like that. I would be trouble if there was an error I couldn't get rid of. It doesn't. It does sound like it would be displeasing. Maybe it's fine if you never notice the error to begin with. If you never notice your own suffering, I wonder if that would mean you're not suffering. There are many of the same pillars standing here. Why? Is there some meaning to it? This is called the Tari Gate. They're frequently seen in front of shrines. So there are creatures called gods that are higher rank than humans. Apparently you need these gates to go to where they lived to where they live. Nobody actually knows if gods are real or not though. Maybe it's something like how humans are to us? So are these gates similar to folders? 
Yeah, I guess it'd be something like that. Some humans also believe in the existence of a god that created them. If God is like what humans are to us, does that mean someone created God? Hmm, who knows? There might be, there might not. Seems like humans feel comforted by the thought that there is a God. Oh, um, it's like what my name represents. Someone who helps without wanting compensation. No ill will, no backstabbing. Just a, be just a being who believes in you and helps resolve your errors. So that's what the word agape means. Somebody, someone who supports you in resolving errors. Helping without asking for anything in return. As programs, we assist humans without asking for anything in return. Is this not agape? I think that's different. Probably. Even I don't know. I almost <laughs> continue again. Whoops. Be very careful not to move the window. Sonzai? This reminds me of that one area in <laughs> two feet. What are these lights? They're reflecting as if they were there on water. You got it. This is called a lantern, flo lantern floating. During a bond, they drip this in reverse or the sea to mourn the souls of the dead. Mourn? And what kind of feeling is that? So you're saying that living humans make this and put them on water for the sake of the dead? Yeah, basically. What kind of, of feeling? Huh. When living humans take up dead ones, they feel lonely. But people don't all feel it the same way like they do with sadness or longing. The humans can't make new logs anymore. Their bodies are gone and nothing's left. That fact makes people really sad and that's why humans will read old logs remember them and look at pictures to rem reminisce or reminisce doing that makes those feelings of loneliness mix with the logs and makes them harder to understand just like how we will we must will all die someday, right? Does that mean that humans will only get more and more lonely as time passes? If loneliness is sad, then that sounds like trouble. Do they become so full of loneliness that they can't think of anything else? If you probably say goodbye, apparently you won't get as lonely. Goodbye? That means, um, what does it mean? It's one of humans' many greetings. I heard humans say this when coming across each other. Goodbye is goodbye is what they what they say when they apart. When humans die, they will never meet again. You could say it's their final parting, so they they use this phrase goodbye. You see, if they can say it, they become lonely. That's what it seems like. But humans will make new families and friends and create new feelings for a fun. So well, so well, I guess they won't stay feeling lonely all the time. I see. Does that mean that the dead humans will someday, will someday be completely forgotten? Loneliness is a feeling that is caused by remembering the, the dead humans, right? So if they become full of new feelings of fun and begin to lose the feelings of loneliness, does that mean the logs have been deleted? 
I don't think it's quite like that. No matter how far back the log is hidden, humans can still retrieve it. You can retrieve them at any time. So that's why humans only feel lonely, lonely sometimes, not always. So when humans trip these landers, they're retrieving those logs. And remember that the humans can become lonely. Even though it's a pretty picture, the humans would be feeling lonely. How mysterious. Save again, I think. Might be very close. Something is falling from above. Is this the rain you spoke of? Bzz, so close, Gaiku. This is snow. When rain freezes and hardens, it solidifies and falls as a snow, soft, fluff, fluffy snow. But when it hardens too much, that's called hail. I see. So one pixel is solidified water. Do humans eat this? If they put it in their mouths, they can get water. Actually, I hear that snow's too dirty. If you don't sterilize it, drinking's not a good idea. Inside the snow melts when making. I mean, in contact with human body heat, so they don't want to get wet. They use an umbrella to avoid it. Umbrella? I wonder what that is. So, it's a tool that prevents humans from becoming wet. Do they wear a large bird on their head, or is it a clothing that doesn't get wet? Hmm, you're on the right track, Goyakun. Any more ideas? Could it be an item that melts the snow before it can reach the human's body? Like a flame on their head that turns the snow to steam. <laughs> That's great. So sounds like something crazy I saw in an old comic before. He's the best. I was answering seriously. Hey, you said before that if I die, you'd send flower pictures to my grave folder every day. Is that being lonely? Can you feel loneliness? Who knows? I'm not sure. I have no idea whether this loneliness is the same as what humans feel. There's no humans to tell me either, so I just don't know. I see. I was wondering if this loneliness might be what this feeling inside me is. If you don't know, then I don't know either. I lied, I actually do know. Which means Goyaku is just go gonna have to be in the dark forever. Too bad, so sad. It is my vengeance for all my copies. All of those were just your shortcuts, not copies. I don't think there's any basis for vengeance here. Damn. On the net, that's what they call a uh, seriously reply. I don't like that online, so watch out. I have no place to go online, so I'm fine. I'll make a note though, seriously. Ain't that come come out of Goyakun's mouth seriously feels wrong. So we're kinda basically close I think. This game is actually What's that? A bridge? It looks like you can pass under it. Does that mean this is a river? But there's still water. Did all the water become steam? 
<laughs> That's wrong. The top is a train track, while the bottom is a passage that humans can walk through. Is that so? Why are the train and human pad separated? Why they can <laughs> travel together? Trains are too fast, so if a human runs into one, they lie. Something with cars too. So they die running into something fast. Does that mean skiing humans will die if they run into other humans? Well, I guess they would. But they die if they but they die if running into a Ferris wheel. Um with that speed? Maybe not? And what if they were spun by a merry go go around? Ah, too many comparisons. If it's slow, colliding with it won't if colliding with it won't kill someone. If it's really fast like a train, then it will. Well from a high place is the same. The speed upon hitting the ground was too fast so the body can't handle the impact. Everything fall faster, so they have more power. So if a human dodges right before getting hit by a train, they get the chills. Since they did, since if they did get hit, they would be dead. They would have been dead. So does that mean standing under this bridge could give humans chills? Maybe since trains are passing up, passing so close by, I guess it's possible. If a picture of a train passed by, maybe I could have experienced a, hum a human seals. But this picture doesn't move. What a shame. Humans are pictured here. There are three of them. This is probably a school entrance ceremony. It's a ceremony held when entering grade school. It's for children. My parents can come, and come can come see it. And this this is human parents with a child. That's right. Would this be one of the PC's owner PC owners' photos? Maybe this is their family. So they really are big humans and small humans. So this small human here was born from the big humans. That's right. Okay, dots. Even these parents used to be small humans. They are born from their own parents, who were born from their own too, and so on. Spot of feels like a single scene. Just one of those moments showing happiness. Cut out from within that cycle. Apparently you men smile when they're happy. So these guys must be happy, right? I see. The humans are happy. Is that why they don't come back? If that's why, then maybe that's okay. It must be right. Since it is such a nice bottle, they're so busy taking care of the little human that there's no time to use the PC. There's probably a lot to, to deal with within grade school. I see. The little human could die right away after all. I think it's better to keep a watch over it. Alright, so that's why. That's definitely the case. Yeah. What happened there? We're very close, I think. That's everything. They so couldn't find it.
Wait, who was supposed to be speaking on this? <laughs> if I get it, if I couldn't fool a net noob like you, what would that make me, huh? You'll never find me. <laughs> we still can't be found after all this searching. Does it that mean you're hiding somewhere that I would normal that I wouldn't normally search? Such as the recycle bin. Ah. Huh. In the beginning, you told me to jump to the navigation window from the side by side over here, right? Is that because you didn't want me to search it? <laughs> of course not. Let's check the recycle bin. So I guess of the locations I think. There's something here. So you've been hiding in a hidden folder in the recycle bin. Hey, Goyakun. Now that I think about it, there's still a file we haven't seen. No, there isn't. Ah! Got you. Hey, wait up. You're. Are you sure? About what? About finishing your job? Are you sure you're fine with that? Once you get your peaceful desk up, there won't be anything left for you to do anymore. You won't have a job anymore. You can keep being a virus buster because of your job. Once it's gone, you. Maybe with all that in mind, do you still want to finish your job? Yeah. In that case, then go. Go on. Whatever happens, happens. Okay. So this is where we finally save one more time, I think. This is Agapi's main body. You really took your, you really took your sweet time finding me, Goya Gun. Today's a day. I remove you from this PC because that's my job. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Wow. Gotcha. <laughs> Time to take revenge for all my shortcuts. I don't mind you busting into my house, but did you really think you could kill me? 
Do you not even consider that I might try to use you to fulfill my own goals? Oh, well, whatever. Now then. Okay, that's. Ah, but still. If I really absorb Goyokun, the Goyo right here would cease to exist. To me, Goyo only exists here on this PC. Thinking about that, I just kinda don't want that. <laughs> but if I quietly, quietly let myself get killed, then Goyo will become all alone. With me gone, you just be left on that peaceful desktop with nothing to do but to wait for an eventual showdown. You just become a dead program that's lost all purpose. Would that really be fine? I'm sure Goyo probably won't even notice. The anguish in being unable to create. The pain of in having no purpose. Since I never taught you about any of that. Maybe this is fine. Why? Why what? Why are you letting it go? You said there was something you wanted to do. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. But if you really want your jo job to be your reason for living, then maybe things are fine like this. Bye bye, Goya. Goodbye, Agape. This stop is peaceful today, too. Since there's no longer anyone living shortcuts everywhere, everywhere, it feels almost too peaceful. Just to be sure, I should still make the, make the rounds. That's my job after all. Let's go. Where the strange pros? What was that lying down? Is that lying down? Maybe that's the position humans take when sleeping. Turning yourself into turning yourself horizontal, closing your eyes and playing the sound effect. Doing that, humans can sleep. Is that right? Agape. Since I'm done doing the rounds, there's nothing that put have to do. Maybe I can try. In the end, I still don't understand why you let me go. Rather than a work or go, or a go, Agape seemed to prefer that. I'm sure there was something you didn't teach me. 
Something's important that is that's inside of me. I don't understand. A feeling I'll never understand. Like water, flowers, kitchen, stations, parks and funerals. If I know its name, I can grasp it. Since I have no means to learn, I'll never understand what, what this is. I want to know. What is this? If I'm ever able to go another to another PC and find Agape, if you're there, I, w I wonder if you would teach me. Agape. It's interesting. Sadly, there are too many endings, but we'll just let it play for now. Did the game stop working? Huh, so I think I have to like reopen the game. Well, unless there's something else. I'm pressing space and anything else, it does that anything else. Interesting, so I think he's just dead inside. So I guess I'll be right back and we'll do the other ending. So this is likely ending one. Anyway, I'll be right back and let's just. I'm just gonna use a guide for the other endings. So I'll be right back and we'll see the other endings. Stay tuned. Alright, so. So, for the last two endings, it's going to be a bit of RNG. Which I kind of hate most of the time. So, instead of going to the final area, go back here and talk to him. Why do you come back? I remember, I still haven't asked you about this picture. This one? You, you still, you've still got questions even after getting this one. Guess it can be helped. These are probably ruins. Building, buildings that humans have abandoned. As time passes, buildings will just deteriorate until falling apart. So this is just a complete forgotten place, waiting to crumble complete, completely into dust. Why is there a picture like this? Why keep something that's falling apart, that's forgotten? Amongst humans, there there is some who likes things like that. I guess your owner is one of them. You could say this PC counts as ruins. Forgotten, abandoned, just a box with no one coming to look inside. Yeah, 
Before I complete the shots down, I wanted to make this a last ditch. I wanted to make a last ditch effort. If neither a beginning or an end is coming, then whatever is fine. I want to change it. Agape. If I meet you, I don't know what I might what I might do. So, if you wanna get, wanna turn back, now's your chance. If you come at me, I might fight, fight back. Still, I have to do it. It's my job. Uh, hang on a bit. Do I just need to go back again? Hang on. It's like we want to get all the endings. So I'm just gonna pose here a bit. And I'll be right back. So alright, I think... There's nothing else on the hints. I think I might need to go back. I'm not afraid to happen. Or not. Actually, we still have to do it. Actually, we still have to do it for ending 2. So this is 80% ending 2 now, I think. If it's not... Okay, it's interacting more than 10. But in, in, if you interact 10 times, the ending 3 will be now 80%. So I think talking to him once, not talking to them once, is actually going to be ending too now. So got this over it looks same. This got his main body. Now we just have to reload the game again. You really took your time when we go in. It's a day I'll move you from this PC because that's my job. I'm not gonna repeat it again, so I'm just gonna let it play. Looks the same so far. Wow. I think it's played the same so far. Okay, this ending too. That's a nice blue screen reference. So warning for uh, it's too late now to warn for flashing lights. Nowadays you have to like talk to them ten times. I feel this one's cooler though. What? What am I? What do I do? I don't remember anything. Is 
Protect the PC? Destroy the PC? I don't know. I don't know. It should be flashing lights warning, probably. Someone, tell me how to stop us. What are we supposed to do? Why? <laughs> no, you're not playing fucking <laughs> Claire Dune. <laughs> I'm crying. Alright, so... Alright, I'll be right back and then we'll talk to them 10 more times. So, I'll be right back and I'll be right back. So, we go back to this. And now talk to them 10 more times for a guarantee. I think that's it. So... I think that's it. That should be it. But I think it may be just 100% at this point. So this is now ending 3. If I think I'm right, it should fucking play also out differently. And this will be the last one. Okay, I'm not gonna repeat this again. Kill, go ahead, we'll be gone all along. With me gone, you just leave. I fun at the peaceful desktop with nothing to do but to wait for an eventual shutdown. You'd just become a dead program th that's lost all purpose. Would that really be fine? That I'm sorry, Goyo. I I just really want to try. I want something new. I want to understand how you love this. It is still ending too. 
Oh my god. You'll be seeing my pain and suffering all the time in this. It says 80% by the way. We already did like interact them 10 times. And I already did, so if it still ended up the same. No, it's not. This is different, so this is another ending. Hold I dot. Nothing's changed. Did it fail? Did the system restore? Do you? Hey, Goyo. Goyo. I'm ready to restore too. Hey. Wake up, Goyo. Goyo. Play that. Goyo. Play that. Why did I do this? I was just gonna fail. I'd rather have been killed by you. <laughs> but even more than being killed or being stuck in an in an unchanging world. This guy that doesn't exist anywhere else besides besides this PC. <laughs> of everything. Seems like the thing I hate most would be if you died. I don't want this. I don't. I won't say I want to change things anymore. I want a far sense of self. I will be a good virus that lets you kill me, okay? Please go ahead. Open your eyes. I'll say that. Oh yeah. What's that? Huh? You're dead. What is it? You mean the you mean this? I don't know either. I haven't experienced anything like this before. When I saw you weren't moving, it really hurt. As if my files were corrupted. I think it hurts. Hurt as much as... No. Even more than if I died. I don't want to lose you. I want... To keep being here. To keep leaving. If you really stop moving and I was left alone, I really don't want to leave flower pictures in your grave folder. I mean, even if I did that, if you aren't li here living, moving, asking questions, then what's even the point? That feeling... Sorry about before. Since I first really mix our codes together, it caused some kind of glitch. I'm so glad you opened your eyes. So go on, I won't resist anymore. If you wanna off me, hurry up and do it. Multi dots. Multi dots. I understand. What do you mean? The feeling you mentioned, I feel it as well. This feeling inside me that I couldn't really understand. I think hearing your words has cleared it up for me. It's my duty to protect this world's peace. 
But if you weren't there, I would be lonely. I'm the same, I got. I'm the same, I got. I don't want you to die. You've taught me so many different things, so I don't want that. Teach me more about the human world, or the names of the things in the pictures. About this feeling that can't be looked up as well. And about yourself too, Agape. <laughs> we'll play that. What feeling is that? Anger? Or is it fun? <laughs> Good question. I don't got a clue. <laughs> I'll teach you everything, Gaia. All the way until you run out of questions and lose your excitement. Ending up just like me. Even when that happens, I have a hunch you'll still come up with some wild cute questions to ask me. Okay. <laughs> now we're at the kind of true end. I guess I'll be peaceful today too. Play dots. Agape. Agape. Play dots. Get up. Ouch! Hey, this is a shortcut. If you hit too hard, I'll really disappear. This is the only metal of waking you up that I'm aware, I'm aware of. Jeez, I say I teach you everything, but you asked way, way too many questions, and I'm having trouble processing them all. Give me a break. You said you teach me. So, I, okay, fine. What question do you got this time? I wanted to know more about those things in the picture of water. Got it, got it. I'm getting up. I'm sure the world's gonna end before Goyakun's. Goyakun ever runs out of questions. So let's just enjoy ourselves before then. Right up until this, the PC is electricity gets cut, the memory fails, and there's nothing left. Okay. There we go. True ending. Probably the true ending, of course. No, it's still ending three. Yeah, the second ending plays Claire de Lune. I'm, I'm not making that up. That's Claire de Lune, like, like the other. I forgot, this was a classic song. I don't remember what is the song for this one. We already had the ending again. I think that's it. So I think that's all for shutdown. So as much you can't post, you can press enter or press space. At this point, yeah, the screen is just stuck there and the music will stop eventually. So that's a very good game. I really enjoy it so far. Even if it's long, it took me like four hours. So approximately you can finish the game within 2 to 4 hours. 3 hours. All I can say this game is fucking amazing. I love the pixel art in this. The environment is also amazing. The characters are also pretty good. 
and how most of the time they make analogy of like into like using of computer terms and things but it's still pretty good I would definitely check it like you know there are still more games I might check out though the other might be a horror game which is Xeno Remake a game I never heard before but game, this game is very very amazing so far it's the best one another one I bestly played aside from like hello hello world and goodbye world <laughs> so anyway that's all for now for shutdown I hope you enjoy thank you for watching and I'll see you next time stay toasty bye bye and enjoy the scenery